Hey, Mario. Oh, hey, Bowser. What's up? Oh, nothing much. Do you want to go to the casino with me and Chef PV? Look, I'm going to bet my entire life savings. I'm going to bet it on red. <laughs> well, that's not a safe idea, Bowser. What, what, what if you lose it all? Oh, well, I'm just going to jump off a bridge. No big deal. Oh, okay, well, how long do you want to be gone for? Oh, just the weekend. <laughs> the weekend? I can't go with you guys. I can't leave my son home alone for the whole weekend. Why not? Look, uh, I leave my son here. W w would you actually trust your son? No, I don't trust my son. He's, look, he's a 10-year-old mistake, and I can't let a mistake hold me back from having fun. Uh, okay, well, what about food? What is he going to eat? Oh, the pantry's full of food. Isn't that right, Chef Pee, Pee? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, See? Oh, okay, so, I mean, the house is full of food, so if Jeffy needs to eat, he can eat, and, and your son's going to be here, so they're going to have each other company. Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, my son is 14. See, he's practically an adult. Come on. <sighs> Come on, Mario. Hey, I need to start having fun. You know what? I will go with you guys. Yes, come on. Yeah, let's go. Uh, I'm going to go tell Jeffy that uh, he's going to stay home alone with your son, all right? All right. All right, Jeffy. I need you to listen very carefully, okay? All right. You're about to be home alone with Bowser's son, Junior, because I'm going out of town for the weekend. Where are you going, Daddy? Uh, I'm going to go do adult stuff. Like sticking things in butts? Um, I don't know. Maybe. Good. Me too. Okay, well, look. If you get hungry, there's food in the pantry, all right? What's a pantry? It's a room full of food. All right, well, let me tell you what I think a pantry is. I think it's like a big apple tree, but instead of apples, there's pans on it. N no, no, Jeffy, look, it's, it's a room full of food. It's the room you go in to get food. So a kitchen. No, 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 it's a closet in the kitchen that has food. Look, look Jeffy, look, if you get hungry, just ask Junior to get you food, okay? All right. And if there's an emergency, you call this number right here, okay? All right, backwards P-I-I. -I. Got it, Daddy. No, no, it's 911, Jeffy. All right, that's a Q. No, that, that, that's, a, that's a nine, Jeffy. Q-I-I, -I. got it. You know what, if there's an emergency, just give this to Junior, okay? So take it. All right, All right so look, that, that, that's the rules, okay? So just don't break anything, don't leave the house. You have to stay inside the house, okay? And just, if there's an emergency, you call that number, all right? Well, what about the hose, Daddy? What, what hose? Can I have hose here? No, no hose. Why? No to the hose. But that you, but you're not gonna be here, so if there's hose here, you'll never even know. You know what, fine, Jeffy, do whatever you wanna do, but I just don't want there to be a mess. I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want you to hurt anyone else, okay? All right, Junior, you're going to be home alone with Mario's son. Just don't die. And if you're hungry, there's food in the pantry. And if you need something, just don't call me. Okay, got it, Dad. Bye, Junior. Bye, Jeffy. Can you believe it, Jeffy? We're home alone for the whole weekend. Actually, Junior, I'm leaving. You're leaving? Where are you going? Got to go get me some hose from Walmart, Junior. What? Walmart hose? Oh, yeah, Walmart hose. It should actually be called Homart instead of Walmart because they have more hose than walls. Uh, okay. All right. See you later, Junior. Go get uh, me some hose. All right. See you later. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I'm home alone for the whole weekend. I'm going to go play video games. Oh, man. I can't believe I'm home alone for the entire weekend. My dad's gone. Chef pee has gone. No one's here but me. Oh, it's going to be so cool. I'm going to play Super Smash Bros. all night long. I should invite my friends over. I'm going to call Joseph, and then I'm going to call Cody. Come on, Joseph. Please answer. Hello? Hey, Joseph. Hey, I was wondering if you wanted to call over my... <laughs> I got you, dude. It's just a voicemail, you idiot. <laughs> now, the reason I couldn't answer the phone right now is because I'm out of here, dude. <laughs> so, uh, just leave a message after the... He's a dog, dude! He's a dog, dude! Uh, Joseph, uh, I was just calling to see if you wanted to come over to my house for the weekend because I'm home alone for the entire weekend. So, uh, just call me back whenever you get this message, I guess. So, bye. <sighs> All right. So I guess I'll just call Cody then. <sighs> Come on, Cody, please answer. Hey, hey what's up, BJ? Nothing much, Sea Dog. What are you doing? No, oh, nothing much. Just kicking it with Mama Bear. I'm about to have a face full of porridge, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I was wondering if you wanted to come over and hang out. And do what? Just sit on the couch? Same old boring stuff? I'd rather just stay home. What? No, 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 no. Like, I mean, like, I'm home alone. All right, got about a half chub going. And I was wondering if you wanted to come over and hang out, just me and you. Bingo! We have liftoff. I'm on my way. All right, um, I was thinking that we could play Smash Bros. What? What? Uh, Cody, how'd you get here so fast? Junior, I heard Smash and Bros, and I came right over. I was Usain Bolt. I ran here immediately. Y yeah, so I was thinking we could play Smash Bros, just me and you. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, just uh, take take your bib off. Or actually, you might want to leave it on. <laughs> Sploosh! What, what, what's well, a video game, Cody? It's called Smash Bros, see? Oh. Gay? Well, no, it's a fun game. Like They fight, and a bunch of people just fighting. It's so cool. Yeah, all right. It's the only action I'm getting tonight. All right, so before we start playing games, let's go in the kitchen and get something to eat. Sure, okay. 
All right, Cody, what do you want to eat? Yeah, Junior, this is a really sad pantry. Yeah, I don't think Chef Hibby's went shopping for a while. Yeah. D Junior, are these raisins? Yeah. Ew, who even eats raisins? And they're off-brand raisins. You might as well just buy grapes and let them rot. They're not even open. No one even wants these. Who bought these? Uh, I, I don't know. Ew. But there's Cheez-Its. Oh, okay. <laughs> I could dig some Cheez-Its. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, Junior, these are stale. What, well, they're stale? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I always forget to close the box. Yeah, Junior. Um, what else is there to eat in here? Junior, there's nothing to eat in here. What the? Junior, what just happened? I don't know! <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, whew. Oh, thank god. I thought we were gonna be trapped in here and have to eat all that shit. Cody! Stop daydreaming! Huh? Cody, the door just closed. Come on. Uh oh. <laughs> Why is it closed? I, I don't know. M maybe it'll just open. It's locked. Damn it. Why is it locked? I don't know, Junior. You said you were home alone. I am home alone. Hold on. No, no one's out there. Well, Junior, doors don't just close on their own. And why does your pantry door even lock? I, I don't know, Cody. Help! Help! Junior, Junior, you're home alone. No one's gonna hear you. You're right. I am home alone. Okay, look, look, look. Just, just calm down. How long are your parents gonna be gone? Uh, the whole weekend. What? The weekend? Yeah, they said they're going to do something. Junior, we're going to be trapped in here for two days? Oh, calm down, Cody. We have plenty of food to eat. What food? Okay, look, we got popcorn. You have to cook that in a microwave, Junior. Uh, okay, then uh, we got oatmeal. You have to cook that, too. Uh, macaroni and cheese. Junior, it's not cooked. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, tuna. You don't have to cook tuna. Okay, but how are we going to eat it, Junior? It's in a can, and we don't have a can opener to open it. Well, doesn't it have, like, a little tab that you can pull on it? You didn't buy that kind of can. Okay, well, look, I have the most natural can opener of all. The ground. But, <sighs> Junior, that's... All right, watch the ground open up this can of tuna. Uh-huh. Wow, the ground did a real good job, Junior. You know what would have done a better job? A can opener. Well, I guess you could say the ground is a can't opener. Because <laughs> it didn't open it. What are we going to eat, Junior? Okay, look, I guess tuna's off the menu. Come on. How about SpaghettiOs? We need a can opener for that. Tomato soup. First of all, ew, and also we need a can opener. Uh, beefaroni. Can opener. Okay, how about this stuff called My Relax? Junior, that's Miralax and it makes you poop, which we don't need to be doing because we're gonna be stuck in here for two days. Okay, uh, there has to be something to eat. Oh, look, onions. We can eat them like the guy from the movie Holes. Junior, I'm not gonna eat onions like the guy from the movie Holes. Oh my God, are those Pop-Tarts? Pop-Tarts? Gimme. <laughs> Oh, the box is empty. Junior, why would you keep the empty box? I, I don't know. I, I guess I just forget. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, look. Don't we technically not have to eat anything? I mean, yeah, you can live for a few weeks without eating as long as you have water. If you don't have water, you die after a couple days. Okay, so then we need to find water. Do we have water in here? Uh, no, Junior. There's no water in here at all. Then what is that? What? That's, NyQuil. That's NyQuil, Junior. It's medicine. You can't drink that. Of course you can drink it. It's liquid medicine. You're supposed to drink it, dumbass. Junior, I mean, you can drink it. You're just not supposed to. It'll make you go to sleep. Okay, then look. We'll, we'll, we'll take it, and we'll sleep for two days until my dad gets back. Junior, that's a bad idea. If we drink too much, we'll die. Uh, okay. Then how about we drink hot sauce? What? No, Junior. I'm not going to drink hot sauce. I have irritable bowel syndrome. W what's that? It means if I drink spicy things, I poop a lot. Okay, and we don't need to be pooping. Exactly. Uh, okay, uh, we can drink mustard. No, Junior, I'm not gonna drink mustard. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, how about this? This looks like soda. Uh, it's not soda, Junior. It's cooking oil. You can't drink it. Okay, then... Oh, look! Mountain Dew! What? Junior, that's not Mountain Dew! That's milk! No, milk is supposed to be white, Cody. Yeah, I know it's supposed to be white. Why is it green? It's supposed to be refrigerated. How long has this been in here? Uh... uh oh, my God, Junior. The expiration date says January 16th, 2017. This milk is two years old. Happy birthday! No, Junior, we can't drink this. We'll get sick. Okay, then what are we supposed to drink? Uh, um... Wait, Junior, is that a coconut? Wait, what? Yeah, 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 it's a coconut! Wait, where? Behind you! Cody, that's not a coconut. Yes, it is, Junior. That's a hairy bowling ball, Cody. No, Junior, that's a coconut. Do you know what's inside of coconuts? Baby coconuts? No, Junior, milk. There's milk inside coconuts. Cody, there's not milk inside a coconut. Milk comes from cows and your mom, and those are the same thing. No, Junior, I'm telling you, there's milk in this coconut. Okay, then if the coconut has milk in it, then where's its titties so I can milk it? It doesn't have titties, Junior. It's a coconut. Cody, you can only milk things that have titties, and there's no titties on this coconut. No, Junior, I'm telling you, if you crack this coconut open, there's milk in there. No, Cody, I don't think you know what you're talking about. Junior, just pick up the coconut. Okay, fine. No, 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 shake it. <gasps> yeah, you hear that? Yeah, that's milk. What? No, Cody, do you know what this is? What? It's a magic eight ball. It's not a magic eight ball. Oh, magic coconut. Will we ever get out of here? 
Okay, so where do I read what it says? You don't read what it says, Junior. It's a coconut. You need to crack it open so you can drink the milk. Uh, oh, okay, so you want to throw it on the ground? Yes, let's try that. All right, Cody. If the ground couldn't open up a can of tuna, what makes you think it's going to open up a coconut? Well, Junior, it's the only thing we have. All right, let's see if it works. <clears throat> are you sure it's not a bowling ball? No, I'm sure, Junior. You just have to do it multiple times. Coconuts are really hard. Okay. Let's see, you chipped it a little bit. Okay, well, I don't think it's working. Well, Junior, I don't know what to do. It's the only way we can drink anything. Okay, well, uh, do you have your phone? Uh, no, I ran over here. Oh, I don't have my phone. I left it on the couch. Um... <gasps> Cody, look! What? I see cups, and I see string. I think I know how I can call for help. Junior, what the hell is this? It's called a telephone, Cody, and I'm gonna use it to call for help. So shut up! Ring, 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 ring. Hello? Oh, thank God you answered! Help, help! Me and my friend are stuck inside the pantry, and we don't have any food! That sounds awful. I really hope your friend isn't a fucking idiot. You know, I, I really think he is. He thinks there's milk inside a coconut. There is milk inside coconuts, Junior! Oh, he knows I'm on the phone. I gotta go. Bye! Junior, this is never gonna work! Cody, this is how the telephone was invented. It's gonna work. So all we have to do is call someone with my telephone. Uh, how are we gonna do that, Junior? Okay, so look, we just have to put that side of the phone underneath the door so someone on the other side can talk to us. Junior, you're home alone. There's no one on the other side of the door. Yeah, so that's why we get enough string and we can send that side of the cup all the way to my neighbor's house so they can talk to us. Junior, how are we gonna do that? We're stuck in this pantry. We're gonna call them. Junior, you're an idiot. I can't believe you would actually fucking think this would work. Cody, I'm the only one thinking of, of ways to get out of here. I made a telephone. What did you do? Think there's milk inside a coconut? Yes, because there is milk inside coconuts. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh my god, there's somebody at the door! Answer the door, dude! It's Joseph, your best buddy! I got a missed call from you, are you okay? Oh, what? Help! Help! We're trapped in the pantry! Help! 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 Hey, help! Hey, help us! Oh my god, my, my, my telephone! Junior. Quick, Cody, quick! Put my phone under the door! It's not gonna fit, Junior! It's gonna fit! Dirt to dirt! Do you not know your shapes? Put it under the door! Alright, fine! There you go, Junior, it's under the door! Okay, I'm gonna try to talk to him! Hello? Hello? Junior, he's not gonna hear you. He's at the front door. Uh, answer the phone! Stop being rude! Hello? Your call has been forwarded to an automated... <sighs> I got voicemail. What the hell? Well, he's not answering. He's being rude. Yeah, I know, Junior. We're just gonna have to accept that we're gonna be stuck in here for two days and you're being an idiot. I'm not being an idiot. At least I'm trying to fix things. All you have is stupid four eyes. Well, you're a retard, bib face. Well, you know what? I don't think I want to be a friend anymore. Well, that's fine. I didn't want to bang you anymore anyway. You know what? I think we should go our separate ways. In a pantry? Yeah, yeah. We'll divide the pantry in half. You get that side and I get this side. And you know what? In this line right here, that'll divide it. Well, uh, okay, fine. I get most of the pantry then. Well, well, yeah, you need all that space for all your stupid and your big glasses and your dumb nose. You know what? Here, take your stupid bowling ball anyway. I don't even like bowling. All right, fine. I will. You, you can take your phone. Yeah, I want it. I'll take my technology anyway. I'll, I'll sit here and I'll talk to the people from the outside. Uh, hello? Uh, my friend's an idiot. Yeah, you tell me how that goes. I'll be over here. Oh, okay, well, I'll be over here. Hmm, <laughs> guess you're not home. Well, 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 Junior. I bet you wish you were over here. I'm in paradise with my trash bag tent and my stale Cheez-Its and my children's motion and dog bones. And if I ever get lonely, I got a butternut squash down there with some expired whipped cream. I even have a Kodak camera so I can take a picture of you dying. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm actually living in a better paradise. Because I'm in my tin foil fort. I get to chew on raw macaroni and cheese. And it actually tastes pretty good if I dip it in the cheese powder. I also have my phone, so I can call whoever I want. I'm actually on the phone with my girlfriend right now. Hey, baby, what are you wearing? Oh, nothing, as usual. Yeah, says it's so hot. Send me a picture. Yeah, I'm one step away from inventing an iPhone over here. I also have some NyQuil, unless I want to go night-night. I also have my onions if I want to be Stanley Yellnut from Holes. So, yeah, I think I'm living better than you, Cody. Well, Junior, we'll just see who lasts longer. And I'll warn you, I don't last very long. Oh, yeah? Well, I bet you don't, because I'm going to be the one that's alive in two days. They're going to have to come get your stupid, ugly, dead body out of here once you die from starvation and boredom, because the cool fort's over here. Yeah, well, we'll just see about that, Junior. Yeah, yeah, I guess we will see about that. How's it going there, Junior? You eat all your raw macaroni and NyQuil? Mm-hmm. I, um, drank all my NyQuil, so now I'm just really tired, and, um, 
I ate all my raw macaroni, so now I don't really have anything left to eat. Yeah, I, I ate all my stale cheese. It's now my stomach hurts, but that's okay. Cause I've been sipping on children's Motrin. And it's the orange kind, so I'm feeling pretty good. How you liking them onions, huh? Onions? Um, well, uh, the first one was better than the second one. You know, I, I don't really think I like the movie Holes anymore because he eats like six onions and I can't even finish two, so. Yeah. Eh. Ah! I remember that. <laughs> well, uh, the flash, turn it off. It's so bright. I'm trying to sleep. Can't turn it off, Junior. So turn off the light. Yeah, Just turn it off. Sorry, Junior. Can't turn it off. Yeah, I'm just over here snacking on my dog treats. But hey, guess what I got? I found two Fruit Loops wedged in the wall. I'm having that for dessert. I'm gonna eat like a king tonight, Junior. What do you think about that? <sighs> Spaghettios, Spaghettios. Wait, wait, wait. Fruit, fruit by the foot. It's empty. Yeah. I'm so hungry. Help me off. Yeah. Wait. What? Fruit by the foot. It's all mine. It's Cody a wish. It's all mine. You had it the whole time. You were saving it. No, I just now found it. Yeah, right. How long did you have it? Uh, uh, like three inches ago. I could take this whole thing. I could eat it, too. C -c Come on, give me this. No, no, it was found on my side of the pantry. It's mine. I don't care, Junior. I, I deserve half of this, at least. No, you don't. You have your dog treats and you, and you have your coconut milk. Junior, this is different. This is fruit by the foot. No, no it's like the yard, so it's mine. Give it to me. Uh, it broke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't hit me. Yeah, damn right I hit you. Uh, uh, Hey, hey, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. It's my foot by the foot. Give me it. You know what? Wait, I'm gonna kill you with this coconut. Oh my god, Junior, you're actually trying to kill me with a coconut, huh? We open it. Hello? Anyone there? Wait, Jeffy? Je Jeffy? Oh. Uh, Jeffy, where's the pantry? Jeffy, we're in here. Help. Uh, I, I can hear what you're saying, but I don't know what you're saying. Wait, Je Je Jeffy, Jeffy, Jeffy. Where's Jeffy. the pantry? We're in here. What? We're in the pantry! Jimmy, we're in the pantry! I can't hear what you're saying! J Junior, Junior, get the phone. The phone? The phone! The phone! Alright, Cody, put the other side under the door. Got it. Yeah. Je Jeffy, stop pushing the cup back. Je Jeffy, take, take the cup. Jeffy, Jeffy, take the cup. Take the cup out of the. Je Jeffy, take it. Je Jeffy, please, please take the cup. Take the cup. Okay, okay, uh, Jeffy, do you see the other cup on the side of the door? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, talk to us through that. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? 
Uh, okay, so here's what we need you to do. We need you to go to the store and buy us food, Jeffy. No, no, no. Jeffy, Jeffy, we, we need you to open this door. Open the door? Yes. Yeah, open the door. Oh, okay. Oh, thank God. Yeah, you opened the door. But, Jeffy. J Jeffy. What, why'd you close the door? You said just to open it. Yeah, we need you to keep it open. Yeah. I don't have to. Uh, you don't you don't have to, but please, we, we really need you to. Yeah, we've been stuck in here for like a day and a half. Oh. oh my thank God. you so much, Jeffy. Jeffy. <sighs> uh, thank God we got out of that pantry. Yeah, I don't know how much longer I could have lasted in there. What were y'all doing in there? We were trapped, Jeffy. I don't know how we got trapped in there, but it was really bad. We got trapped. Yeah. Yeah, but thanks to my invention, we got out. Right, Cody? Yeah, I guess. To admit that I'm the smartest, coolest person in the world. Fine. Yeah, there you go. I am the smartest person in the world, and I admit that, that I'm smarter than you, and you'll never be smarter than me. Okay, don't push it, Junior. All right, so let's go play video games, Cody. Come on! I just want to go home. <sighs> you know what, Cody? I don't think I'm in the mood to play Super Smash Bros. We did a lot of fighting in that pantry. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I think we should just watch TV. Okay. <sighs> Breaking news, okay? A man has jumped off of a bridge after he gambled all of his life savings away. Huh, I wonder when my dad's going to get back. What just happened? I don't know! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Cody. You go in the kitchen and eat your Chick-fil-A. I'll go get your father. Huh. What pants are these? Uh, Tyrone! Tyrone, we got your Chick-fil-A! Ty Tyrone? Tyrone? I'm home with your chicken! What? Tyrone, where are you? Oh, 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 damn, baby! Tyrone! Tyrone! <laughs> Children, what are you doing home so early? I thought you had to go to work! Tyrone, I left for Chick-fil-A 15 minutes ago. 15 minutes ago? Damn, I'm lasting long this time! <laughs> Tyrone, who's underneath these covers? Oh, there's nobody underneath these covers, baby! I'm the only person in this bed! I know there's someone underneath these covers! Baby, would I lie to you? Tyrone... Yeah, I would. Tyrone, who is this? Uh, baby, that's just Boo Keisha. Uh, you, you know I've been having them back problems and, uh, sleeping problems and stuff. So, uh, I found out Boo Keisha was a doctor, and then I just invited her over here to watch me sleep. That's all. Well, then why is she wearing handcuffs? Because I'm kinky. No, 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 she ain't, baby. No, she ain't. I saw her breaking into the house, so I had her handcuffed. And then, uh, you, you know, she told, she told, she told me she was a doctor. I told you that a minute ago. So I just invited her in the house, and, you know, she watched me sleep. Why isn't she wearing any clothes, Tyrone? Now, babies, don't sit here and lie to me. She got a t-shirt on. No, Tyrone, I mean, why isn't she wearing pants? Now, baby, you know I can't sleep in the same bed with somebody that's wearing pants. Tyrone, you've given me that excuse before. You did that with your stepsister and, and, and the pizza delivery woman and the mail lady, and you even said that to your ex-wife when she caught me and you in bed together. Man, I need to come up with a better excuse. That's it, Tyrone. I'm tired of you cheating on me. I want a divorce. Oh, baby, come on. Give her another chance. She deaf. Bitch, I ain't deaf. <laughs> you look, look, see, she can't even talk now. No, Tyrone, I'm leaving you. I'm done. But, baby, can you turn on the fan, please? It's hot as hell. <laughs> what? Who the hell is this? Tyrone, get your ass in here. What do you want, baby? You know I'm trying to finish. Who is this? Oh, that, that must be a Girl Scout selling Girl Scout cookies. Then what is she doing on our couch? Um, she must be waiting on money, so pay up. Tyrone, did you have a daughter with that other woman? Yes, baby. Look, it was an accident, though. <sighs> we were eating at a restaurant. She started choking. I did the Hamlet maneuver, and it just slipped in. And you know what I say. My favorite dinner course is dinner course. <laughs> I've heard it all before, Tyrone. You had a daughter with another woman. Look, you know, <laughs> you never liked any of the other kids I ever had with other women. Tyrone, you have a cheating problem. Look, it's not a problem. Look, I never cheated. I only cheated on, in Uno one time. Tyrone, I'm divorcing you this time. Wait, wait, for real? Yes, for real. For real, for real? For real, real, for real, for real. I'm leaving you. Wait, no, do we notice nothing? Damn, I don't even feel like finishing no more. Dude, Cody, your father and I are getting a divorce. Mom, you say that all the time. I'm serious this time. Whatever. All right, so you two are filing for divorce, is that correct? Yes, he cheated on me multiple times. Oh, baby, you can't be serious about this divorce. I am, Tyrone. I'm tired of you cheating on me. But, baby, look at this. Do you eat the same food every day? 
No. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Your taste buds will get tired of it. Sometimes you need something different. Look, you my main dish, baby. You my steak. But sometimes you just need a side dish. Maybe some corn. Maybe some mashed potatoes. Booty. You know, vegetables. I'm tired of your excuses, Tyrone. We want this divorce. Laura? Well, the lady wants to divorce us. One moment, please. My spooky phone's ringing. Don't you dare hang up. Any fucking way. All right, guys, right here, uh, Tyrone, you're going to sign right here on the husband spot. Okay. And uh, Nut Mrs. Nutkiss, I'm going to need you to sign down here. But uh, I don't have a pen. Oh, I have a Sharpie, so it makes things more permanent. Okay, Cody, me and your daddy are officially divorced. It's over. But we can't afford to move out just yet, so we're going to have to live here with daddy and his new family. So, Bukisha, get in here. Jody, what you want? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Cody, this is Bukisha, the home wrecker. You remember the whore I told you about? Judy, if you got something to say, why don't you just say it in my face? Bukisha, this is my son, Cody. He's a homosexual. Oh, hey, Cody, little gay boy. Here, shake my hand. Yeah, it's me, little, little gay boy. Mm -hmm. Co Co Cody, wash your hands. Anyway, Cody, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Boo Keisha. It rhymes with Woo Keisha, but Woo Keisha is my sister and your auntie, okay? And I'm gonna be the best stepmama you ever did have. But not better than your real mommy, which is me. She's your fake mommy. Her hair isn't even real. She's bald under that. It's called a weave, you freak. I'll have you know, this bitch cost me $9.95 at the Kmart. And you just mad because your real hair having ass on top of your head couldn't keep your man. Everybody knows that white chocolate is the best chocolate, and I have a whole lot of that. Oh, okay, but I guess your man be liking the dark chocolate because he was giving it to me good last night and I was giving me some pipe. Listen here, bitch. If you want to throw dukes, we can throw dukes. I went to high school in Compton and I'll have you know I slept with the whole football team. Oh, okay. Well, let me tell you some shit. I once left a kid in a hot car and that motherfucker died. And, and his ass, oh, that, that's some Compton ass right yeah. there. Well, uh, Cody, where you going? I'm going to my room so I don't have to be around this terrible family anymore. Oh, did you see a new mama? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's thick, ain't it? Well, I wouldn't exactly call her thick. She's just kind of skinny, really. Well, she a freak, ain't it? Well, Dad, I, I, I really wouldn't know your definition of freak. Well, take my word for it, Cody. She is a freak. I was laying that pipe all night. <laughs> okay, Dad. Uh, you might want to spend less time talking about laying pipe and more time breaking up the fight in the living room. Oh, come on, Judy! <sighs> Yeah, I can't believe my life. What? Who are you? Oh, hey, Cody. What the hell? Mom, get in here. What's the matter, Cody? Who is this? Oh, that's your stepsister, Sprinkle. Sprinkle? Yeah, my mama named me Sprinkle because when I was born, she said I looked like a little chocolate sprinkle. Mom, what is she doing in here? Didn't she see the sign? No girls allowed. Well, I'm sorry, Cody, but you and Sprinkle are just going to have to share a room. Uh, no, I'm gonna go stay at Junior's house. Uh, Cody, if you go into Junior's house, could you take Sprinkle with you? I don't want her to see me beat her mommy's ass. You ever seen a bald bitch, Cody? Well, you're gonna see a bald bitch when you get home. All right, fine. Come on, Sprinkle. Dude, do you see my new pet? I love it so much! Joseph, that's a rock. Dude, I know it's a rock, but it's the coolest rock ever. Look, I don't have to feed it any food, which I can't afford, or even give it any water, which I can't afford, or buy it any toys, which I can't afford. But I can live outside with it, because I already live outside. Oh. What? There's someone at the door, Joseph. Uh, just here, just play with your rock. Ooh, come on, Rocky, Rocky. Uh, hello? Hey, Junior. Hey, Cody, what's up? Uh, this is my sister, if you were wondering. Wait, where? Hi! Oh, hey! I didn't even see you there! Yeah, it's my sister. Oh, okay, well, um, wait, wait, you said your sister? Yeah. Uh, Cody, there's no way that's your sister. Uh, uh no, no, she, she's my stepsister. Uh, okay, Cody, I know that's, I know she's your sister, but you don't have to step on her. But no, no, Junior, Junior, I, I mean, we have two different mothers. Cody, I know your mom's huge and fat, but I don't think she's fat enough to be counted as two people. <sighs> Junior, how about I just come in and explain it? <sighs> okay. <laughs> What's wrong, Joseph? Dude, my pet rock ran away! <laughs> well, can you go cry in the bathroom? We don't want to see you cry. <laughs> okay, dude. He's so ugly when he cries. 
All right, Cody, what's going on? Well, my parents finally got a divorce. What, a divorce? What's that? Oh, well, a divorce is when two parents break up, but like officially with paperwork involved. What, your parents are broke up? Yeah. Do they live in separate houses or the same house? No, well, we all live in the same house, which is why it's so awkward. And the worst part is I have to share a bedroom with my stepsister. I think I saw a video with that title before, sharing a bedroom with your stepsister. I really like that video. Well, the cool thing about having a stepsister is you can make a lot of cool videos. Like you could say, uh, you won't believe what me and my stepsister did when my parents left. Yeah, I don't really want to make any videos with Sprinkle. Wait, her name's Sprinkle? Yeah, my name is Sprinkle. Wait, why is your name Sprinkle? Because my mama said when I was born I looked like a chocolate Sprinkle. Oh, well, I really like Sprinkles. Well, I don't like your own glass. <laughs> Get served, Junior. Get served a platter of denial. You tried to slide in, but this water slide is closed down. <laughs> oh. Well, Sprinkle, uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, when I grow up, I want to do me some hell and paint me some nails. But if that don't work out, I'll just dance for some money. You should do the second one. That'd be really cool. Okay, dude, I think I'm done crying. <gasps> dude, who is that? <laughs> hey, Joseph, is that a rock between your legs or are you just happy to see my stepsister? <gasps> dude, I found my rock! But who's that? Oh, uh, that's just Cody's stepsister, Sprinkle. Oh, Cody's sister's so hot, she's begging, bro! Oh, yeah, I'd smash, too. Yeah, I guess I'd smash if I were straight, but not in my lifetime. Yeah, and good luck getting her, Joseph. She already turned me down. So what's the deal with this doll, dude? If you must know, he's my boyfriend. But he's a doll, dude! <gasps> dude, did you hear that? Well, yeah, she said he's a doll, dude, and you say that all the time! I know! He's a doll! Because he is a doll, dude! Yeah, he is a doll, dude! Alright, you know what, guys? You can just screw up! Alright, Joseph, she's all alone. Here's your chance to ask her out. So, little turtle dude, what's your name, you? Who? M me? Yes, Joseph, tell her your name. Uh, uh my, my name is Joe 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 Cool. What was it? Joe Cool. Yeah, Joe Cool. cool. That, that, that's a cool name, dude. I know, I'm the coolest guy ever. And I was wondering if, uh, if you want to be my, my girlfriend, you know, we can go walk in. You trying to be my boyfriend? Uh, 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 yeah. Do you got a lot of money? Uh, yep, 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 a whole lot of money. Well, no, no, you don't, Joseph. Oh, he's <laughs> sick. Well, yeah, yeah, you can be my boyfriend. Oh, really? Uh -huh. well, I got a girlfriend? Oh, yeah, from the line, Joseph. You don't have a lot of money. Once you find out, she's going to leave you. I know she's not, dude. <laughs> what, what? Who's that? Uh, hold on, I'm answering the door. Uh, hello? Excuse me, is my daughter Sprinkle be up in this house? Yes. Well, can you tell her ass to get the fuck down here? Because I did not give her no permission to be up in this white people house. Mm hmm. Uh, uh, okay, just wait right here. Okay, thank you. So when do we start kissing and holding butt? Oh! Hey, Sprinkle, your mom's at the door. She's pissed. She's like, get the fuck out of here! Oh, well, I'm sorry, Joe Cool. Looks like my mama be here. So I'm gonna have to go. Uh, I'm, I'm sad to hear that, but, um, baby, how about, uh, you, you give me a quick kiss before you go? Mm. Hey, guys, what's up? What? Up in the air. J Junior, quick, pass me that alley -oop. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Dude, why did you kiss me? Well, someone left you hanging. I had to get that slam dunk. Well, just so you know, I have a girlfriend. What, who? Your stepsister, Cody. He asked her out and he lied and said he was rich. Now she believes him. Pfft, that's not going to last long. Unlike me, I last forever. Yeah, Joseph, it's not going to work out. He's going to find out you're not rich and you're going to get caught. Dude, I'm cool. I'm Joe cool. Wait, wait, <laughs> Junior. I, I didn't think about this. Now that Joseph has a girlfriend and I have a boyfriend, you're the only one that's single. Well, oh, yeah, dude, you're a loser. <laughs> well, no girls like me. Well, I'm telling you, Junior, you should just try being gay. It's way easier. You do all the stuff you do with a girl, but with one of your bros. It's awesome. And trust me, I could make Ken disappear if you want to, you know, get with me. I'll just wait for a girl, Cody. <sighs> well, guys, I'm out of here. I got a girlfriend. <sighs> I really wish I had a girlfriend. My life sucks. Your life sucks, Junior. My parents just got a divorce. I got a whole new family, and one of them is dating Joseph. My life sucks. <sighs> it would be a little better if I, uh, got a kiss, though. You know? Mm -hmm. Oh, my Christ! Today, we're going to be answering the age-old question. How much woo could a woo-chuck-chuck chuck if a woo-chuck-coo-chuck-woo? 
Anybody? <laughs> hey, Cody, how much fat could your fat mom eat if your fat mom could eat fat? I don't know, Junior. You tell me. Uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of fat, like 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 mayonnaise and uh and, and cookies and can candy bars. Explain your answer, Junior. Uh, cause she's fat. She's eating a lot of fat foods. Yeah. Um, I know, teacher. Ah, oh, yeah, you, Jeffy. How much pussy could a pussy gobbler gobble if a pussy gobbler couldn't gobble pussy? Jeffy, stop it. All right, class, the correct answer is 6,570 woos chucked. Let me show you how I get that answer. All right, we know that the woo chucks average lifespan is six years. Same as the average lifespan of girl in China. Get hit by a bus, rest in park, hyenas eat, whatever the fuck. Alright, so we take six years, and that is 2,190 days. So if we have one tree three times a day that the Wu Chuck Chuck for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, that comes out to 6,570 Wu's Chuck. Do you want to fuck with me? Any questions, Grass? <laughs> hey, retard, did the teacher draw you on the board? No, that's not me. Are you sure? Because it has the same teeth as you, beaver face. Hey, you don't call me a beaver face. <laughs> you get a big gap between your beaver teeth. I could kick a field goal through it. Well, you don't even have any legs. <laughs> I could park a car between your beaver teeth, beaver face. That's it! <laughs> <laughs> Danny, I got suspended from school. What, you what? You got suspended? Why? Because I punched some kid in the face because he said I look like a beaver and I have beaver teeth. I look like a hillbilly, Danny. I'm fucking SpongeBob over here. See, I got my buck teeth, my yellow shirt, and my best friend's a starfish. What? Jeffy, you don't know what the hell you're talking about, Jeffy. There's nothing wrong with your teeth. It's, it's barely even noticeable. Well, the kid noticed it, and the entire class noticed it, and the teacher noticed it, and he's slant eyed as fuck. Well, well, Jeffy, come on, there's nothing wrong with your teeth. God made you the way you are, and you have to accept it. There's things I don't like about myself, but I just deal with it. But, Dad, I want my teeth fixed. Well, Jeffy, there's nothing wrong with your teeth. What's wrong with your teeth? There's a big gap in between them, Dad. Oh, oh Jeffy, okay, that gap is barely noticeable. And it, it, you want to get braces over that? Well, whatever they're called, Dad, I want them. I want my teeth fixed. Okay, fine. I'll call a dentist so we can see if we can get your teeth fixed. Hey there, somebody called the dentist to their house. I, I'm not really sure how this is gonna work. I don't, I don't really have my drill, or the lights, or the chair. My brother got the chair. I'll tell you about him later though, what's up? Oh, anyway, dentist, my son- Whoa, 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 dentist? That's kind of rude. What if I was like, hey, customer, how can I help you, customer? What's up, customer? Okay, well, what do you want me to call you? You are a dentist. I have a name, I'm not just a piece of meat, you know? My name is Brooklyn Guy. Okay, I'll, I'll call you Guy. So anyway, Guy. Well, yeah, 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 I don't actually like that either. That, that's kind of rude too. What if I was like, hey, Guy, hey, buddy, hey, man, hey, pal, what's up, man? Oh, okay, what do you want me to call you? Well, I'm a doctor. Oh, but you're a dentist. Well, I'm a, I'm like a, do I'm a doctor dentist. Okay, doctor dentist. I like that. I like that. It's official. All right. Anyway, doctor dentist, my son has a uh, gap in his teeth. It's like really gappy, and he. Gappy <laughs> <laughs> Gap is a <laughs> Hey, Grand Canyon mouth. <laughs> hey, 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 Bugs Bunny. What's up, Doc? <laughs> you want a carrot? Hey, 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 SpongeBob, the Krusty Krab is that way. <laughs> hey, 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 can open a mouth. I got, I got a can of beans right here I need you to open. Hey, tell you what, I, I have a tree in my backyard. Maybe you can come chew it down for me. <laughs> oh, God. Whew. Are you done? Yeah, yeah, I, I think I'm done. Whew. Anyway, do you think you can fix his teeth or not? Okay, so you just want me to put braces on two teeth? I, I mean, it'll it'll close the gap, but I mean, he's still his teeth are still gonna be like that. I mean, Jeffy, do you want the gap in your teeth still fixed, or do you would you like to just keep your teeth like that? Well, I want my gap fixed. I don't want to look like SpongeBob anymore. He doesn't want to look like SpongeBob, so get rid of the gap. Well, okay, so you want to go from being a gap tooth beaver face to just being a beaver face? All right, well, I can do that. Uh, just let me go to Walmart and buy the paper clips, and done. What, you're already done with the braces? Yeah, it only took one paper clip. I can probably return the rest of these. Didn't even need the tape. Wait, so those are official braces? Yeah, yeah, they they, they look like braces, right? Yeah? Yeah, then they're braces. Okay, um, Jeffy, how do they feel? It hurts, Daddy. I don't like it. What, why they hurt them? Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, pain is beauty. And uh, paper clips on your teeth, that's, that's gonna hurt. 
Okay, um, well, how long until the gap is fixed? I don't know. What am I, a dentist? What? What? Uh, all right, uh, so, all right, so what, what else is next? Uh, well, if the paperclip falls off, just call me, and, uh, oh, yeah, you should probably get ready for some more name-calling, too, so uh, I'll go ahead and get one out of the way, yeah. <laughs> nice mouth, railroad track face! Choo-choo! <laughs> I'll just do the one, though. Um, you'll get my bill in the mail. I'm, I'm gonna go take these back to Walmart. Uh, all right. Um, anyway, Jeffy, uh, looks like you have to get used to your braces until your teeth are fixed, okay? Oh, let's go this eat. really hurts. Let's go eat something. Oh. All right, Jeffy, here's your bowl of gumballs, just like you asked. Thanks, Daddy. These braces suck. They hurt so bad. Well, Jeffy, that's all part of the process. The braces are moving your teeth, so it's gonna hurt a little bit. Just eat your gumballs. All right. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, Daddy, look. I got blue balls. Uh, that, that, that's really funny, Jeffy. Just, just eat your gumballs. Ah! 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 It hurts so bad! Ah! Fuck those gumballs! I don't want the gumballs anymore! Don't throw your food just because you're mad about your braces, oh. Jeffy! It's gonna hurt! That's, that's what's gonna happen! Oh, it hurts so bad, Daddy! Oh, look, let's just go lay down, okay? Lay down so you can take a nap. Okay. <laughs> what did your teeth do to get put in jail? Were they too crooked? I'm actually getting my teeth fixed, so you can't make fun of me. I can still make fun of your stupid metal teeth. And I can still beat that ass. All right, I'll just sit back here and wait in line for the roller coaster. You get it? Because your teeth look like roller coaster tracks. All right, well, you're going to be waiting in the handicap line, bitch. I'm about to clap them cheeks. Hey, Daddy. I got suspended from school again. Wait, you got suspended from school again? You weren't even supposed to go to school today, Jeffy. You're already suspended. Oh. Well, I went to school, and the kid was making fun of my braces, so I beat him up. So now I'm double suspended, and I don't want my braces anymore. Well, Jeffy, when you didn't have braces, they made fun of your teeth. And now that you have braces, they're making fun of your braces. So what do you want? I don't want my braces anymore, Daddy. I figured out that I just don't want anything done to my teeth. I'm just going to let people like me for who I am. Well, I mean, I guess that is a good thing to know about yourself, Jeffy. People should like you for you, not how, not how your teeth look. I mean, they can be messed up all they want. Yeah, and if they keep making fun of me, I'm just going to keep beating that ass. Yeah, Jeffy, people should like you for you, not your appearance or anything else that you have. They should like you for who you are. Mm-hmm. So you want your braces off? Yep. I'm going to call the dentist uh, to get your braces off and to milk more time. All right, buddy. Oh, thank God you called. I tried returning these paper clips to Walmart, and they said they wouldn't take them unless they had all of them. Wait, all of them? Yeah, it's a pack of 140. They counted them up and said there's only 139. Where's the other one? I said it's in a kid's mouth, so I came here to get it. Yeah, now I can get my 219 back. Oh, well, that's good, I guess. So, uh, why'd he want the braces off anyway? Oh, he was getting made fun of. Well, of course he was. He had a paper clip in his mouth. I'd make fun of him, too. You did. Yeah, I know. I'd do it again. Well, anyway, Jeffy said he doesn't care if people make fun of his teeth. He doesn't care. He doesn't want braces. He wants to look exactly how he is now. He likes his natural self. Pfft, stay ugly. I don't care. I used to have a mouthful of teeth, too. When I needed braces, I just pulled all my teeth out. Now I'm sexy. All I can eat is grits. All right, see you guys later. Hey, guys. We just want to say thank you for three million subscribers. I can't get everyone into the same angle. There you, go. there you go. Hey. We just, we just want to say thank you for three million. Y'all can say it with me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Three, three million, million subscribers. Hey. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> so we hit three million subscribers uh, uh, a few days ago or yesterday, depending on when this video got uploaded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just want to say thank you because we did it again for the second time. But on a channel that's not dead. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, so we hit three million subscribers again. Again, so we want to thank you guys. We love every single one of you. Absolutely. Th thank you for watching all the stupid videos that we make. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, so we Which love... comedy gold. It's comedy gold. So we love every single one of you. Thank you guys for continuing to watch. We love all you guys, and we're going to continue making videos as long as we can until Pablo dies, until I die, until Lance dies, right? I was going was gonna to say, why'd you start with me? You know something I don't? <laughs> I mean, come on. the arm, you're gonna have arm cancer, Pooby. Guys, please pray for Pablo's arm. Still broken. How many years have you been filming? Uh, uh, almost five years? Well, almost, yeah, about four and a half now. Four and a half, and that arm is still going. Yep, still <laughs> going strong. He broke his arm a long time ago, guys. A long time ago. Uh, when? In 2001, I believe. <laughs> Ooh, it's an 18 year old arm. <laughs> Your arm is old enough to fuck. Oh! <laughs> anyway, guys, we want to say thank you for 3 million subscribers. Thank you so much. Keep subscribing, keep watching, and we're going to continue to make videos. And we, yeah, um, the whole crew couldn't be here right now because this was a Jeffy video, and it was kind of just put together. Um, so yeah, last minute. 
yeah, we love you guys and uh, subscribe and hit that like button. And let's get this to 10 million subscribers. Yeah, we, well, let's get Super Mario Logan to 10 million first, still. But, but this I one guess. has money. This is important, though. Yeah. <laughs> we love you guys. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. All right, Crass. Today, we're going to be learning about the doo doo bug. The doo doo bug is extinct. The reason why the doo doo bug is extinct is because he smells like doo doo and no one wants to mate with him. The word extinct means dead, no longer existing. Girl in China, soon to be extinct. Oh, so that means Joseph's parents are extinct. Don't remind me, dude! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Crass, you are probably wondering why you have Prey Doh on your desk. The Prado is not for you to eat. Aww. Okay. The Prado is for you to do your partner project. I want each and every one of you to pick a partner, and you're going to combine your Prado to create an animal that you think may have gone extinct. We get to choose partners. Cody, do you want to be my partner? Yes, Junior. I never thought you'd ask. Oh, dude, I wanted to be your partner. Well, why don't you be a partner with Toad? Oh yeah, dude, be my partner. Come on, Joseph. Oh, okay, dude, I'll be your partner. Okay, we all pick partners then. Ah, look how long my tongue is. Hey, Patrick, you want to be my partner? Okay, Mr. Bullet Man. Oh, oh, teacher, I don't have a partner. Jeffy, why you cry like real bitch? Because you have no friends, you get extra prey. Oh. Alright, Crass. Now everyone take that prey go home and bring your project back tomorrow so I can grade it. Hey, Danny. Hey, Jeffy, how was school? It was terrible, Danny. We have a partner project and the teacher told me to pick a partner, but I don't have any friends. Well, Jeffy, the reason why you don't have any friends is because you wear a diaper and you're 14 and you have a pencil up your nose and you're one of those kids that run to lunch. I just really like Naruto. Believe it. Well, Jeffy, look, if you wanted some friends, you just got to make some friends, Jeffy. Make some friends? Yeah, make some friends. Hmm. Okay, dang. Danny said I gotta make my own friends. So I did. I made Bunghole. And he's gonna be my best friend forever. I just wish he could have been red. Nah, I like being blue. <gasps> Bunghole? You're real? Of course I'm real. You just made me. Without any peepees going in giants? Ah, who needs those when you have your imagination? Okay, Bunghole. Do you want to be my best friend forever? Of course I do. Forever and ever. Just you and me. Nobody else. Okay, Bunghole. Well, then you can help me with my partner project. I am your partner project, Jeffy. Just use me. Okay. That's a good idea, Bunghole. Can I show you my daddy? Yeah, let's go see him. Oh, right, let's go, Bunghole. Hey, daddy. Want to see my bunghole? Ew, Jeffy, no, I don't want to see it. You show it to me all the time. But this time it's blue. Ew, Jeffy, why is your butthole blue? Not my butthole, my bunghole. See, he's my best friend. Say hi, bunghole. Hey, dear, Mr. Jeffy's dad. I'm bunghole. See? Jeffy, who are you talking to? There's no one there. I'm talking to bunghole. Hey, bunghole, tell my daddy a joke. <laughs> That's so funny, Bunghole. Where did he come up with this? Jeffy, there's no one there. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to Bunghole, Daddy. He's right here and he's blue. Jeffy, there's no one here. There's no one named Bunghole. There's no one blue. There's no blue thing. Daddy, he's right here and he just told you a joke. Jeffy, you sound insane right now. You don't even know what you're talking about. But did you get into the Flintstone gummies again? No, I couldn't get the cap off. Well, you know what, Jeffy? I'm going to call a doctor because you sound crazy, Jeffy. Oh, but he's right here. You're dead so silly, Jeffy. Why couldn't he see you, Bunghole? I don't know. Maybe he needs glasses. Maybe, Bunghole. Okay, you call the doctor. What seems to be the problem? All right, doctor. So my son, Jeffy, is talking to someone. And he says they're right here, but there's no one there. So he sounds insane. Show him, Jeffy. Well, Mr. Doctor Man, I have a best friend named Bunghole. And he's right here. But my daddy says he can't see him. So I think my daddy needs glasses. You see what I'm talking about? Okay, I think I see what's going on here. He just has an imaginary friend. What, imaginary friend? Are those even real things? Oh, yeah, everybody's got one. Isn't that right, booger? You and me! 
You the yep. man, you the man. <laughs> like am. if there was a man, it's you. Okay, yeah. Shut, 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 shut the fuck up, oh, Okay, okay, but as long as All you right. know in yep. your heart of hearts that you are the man, yep. the manest th of th man th that th I thank, ever thank seen. Thank you, Booger. You're th welcome, thank man. you, yep. You're the man. I, I know. Who, who, who are you talking to? Talking to my imaginary friend, Booger. You see, when I was in elementary school, I picked my nose, and all the kids made fun of me for it, and so I started talking to the Booger, and it told me how cool I was. And it just never really went away. Yeah, because cause you're the man. Yep. Like, even in elementary school, you were the man. I yep. mean, you were a yep. child, you, but you, you were still you, the man. You've explained that. Yeah, Th you thank you. Man. I've heard it. Demand, I've heard it, Booger. Demand, demand. Okay, so, uh, so imaginary friends are normal? Oh, yeah, it's totally normal, and he'll probably grow out of it eventually. Okay, so um, you can't make him get, like, you can't get rid of him or anything? Oh, no, no, it should go away on its own. I mean, unless you're the man, then it stays. Because the man needs his man sometimes, to tell him he's Sometimes the it goes man. away if, you know if he's saying? lucky. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go blow my brains out. Sorry. You the man. All right, Jeffy, so the doctor said it's completely normal for you to have an imaginary friend or whatever you want. But he's not imaginary, Daddy. Well, well, Jeffy, he's not real. He's not really there. You know what? I'm just going to make dinner, okay, Jeffy? But he's right here. You see that, Jeffy? Your daddy tried to get rid of me. He did? Yeah, but you know what we should do? What? We should kill him. <laughs> kill him? Yeah. <laughs> or we could play hide and seek. With his dead body. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, here's your dinner. A big plate of green beans. I gave you extra for your imaginary friend. Man, I hate green beans. Yeah, I don't want you to eat these green beans, bunghole. You know, I'm really starting to not like your daddy, Jeffy. He would look a lot better with his head cut off. What? Yeah. <laughs> throw this plate of green beans at him. Throw the green beans at him? Usually I just throw my green beans on the floor. No, throw it at him. Kill him. <laughs> oh, Jeffy's so stupid. Oh, Jeffy! Oh. Why'd you throw that plate of green beans at me, Jeffy? Bunghole told me to do it. You could have killed me, Jeffy. There's no such thing as a bunghole. You're just making that up, Jeffy. Oh, my, my, my. You know what, Jeffy, no, you're grounded, you're grounded, come with me, you're grounded. Oh. That's it, Jeffy, you're grounded. You're not allowed to do anything but go to school, come home, go to your room, and then go to school, okay? Oh, Daddy, but it's not my fault. It was Bunghole. Jeffy, there's no such thing as someone called Bunghole. You just made that person up so you could do bad stuff. You're grounded. Oh, Bunghole, this is all your fault. You got me in trouble. Oh, I was only trying to protect our friendship, Jeffy. Remember, we're best friends forever. And ever. Aw, oh, okay, Bunghole. We have to go to bed because we got school tomorrow. Okay, Jeffy. Uh. All right, class. I hope everyone have their Prango project. I'm going to come around the class and you're going to tell me what animal you made and why it would have gone extinct. <laughs> All right, Patrick and Bory Bill. What do you guys make? I made you poop with bubblegum in it because my mommy says not to eat bubblegum because it's going to get stuck in your poop. So this is what my poop would look like if I ate all the bubblegum. You were supposed to make an animal that could have gone extinct. Uh, well, this, this could have been an animal that, that got eaten and then turned into poop. You guys get D+. Plus. I'll take it. <sighs> all right, Junior and Cody, what do you guys make? Uh, well, we, we made a dog. With a big crank. Oh, Big Crank. How did Big Crank go extinct? Uh, well, his crank was so big he couldn't walk. Yeah, and so he starved because he couldn't move. Yeah. Okay, you guys get A+. Plus. Yes! All right, Tony and Joseph, what do you guys make? Oh, we made a frog with chicken pox on it. And how did the frog go extinct? Because there wasn't a cure for chicken pox, duh! Okay, okay. Uh, B minus, because you didn't cover entire frog body with chicken pox, only his back. Uh. Man, Jeffy, we're gonna get an A plus on this project! Yeah! All right, Jeffy, where's your project at? Oh, he's right here beside me. I made a bunghole. Say hi, bunghole. He said hi. Where is he? I don't see him. He's right here beside me. You don't see him? No, and since you don't have your project, you fail! You get out! Oh. He gave you an F, Jeffy? Yeah, and now my daddy's gonna ground me because I failed. No, he's not. You wanna know why? Why? Because we're going to kill him. Kill him? Yeah. <laughs> Throw your chair at him. But I'll get in trouble. Do it. 
All right, Crass. I hope you all enjoyed working on your Prado project. Oh, shit. Dude, Jeffy's hardcore. Is the teacher okay? <laughs> Good job, Jeffy. He'll never give you enough again. If you say so, bumhole. <laughs> Hey, Daddy, I got arrested at school today. Jeffy, you got arrested at school? Yep, he assaulted his teacher, threw a chair right at his head, and the teacher's pressing charges. Jeffy, why would you throw a chair at your teacher? It wasn't me, Daddy, it was Bumhole. He told me to do it. Okay, look, just because your imaginary friend tells you to do something doesn't mean you actually have to do it. But he might kill me if I don't do it. What? Okay, that's a red flag. Uh, maybe we should arrest this imaginary friend, too. Yeah, we should. All right, where are you? Come here. Where is he? Where? Oh, I got him. All right, you're under arrest. You're coming with me. Stop, stop resisting. Oh, 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 no, he's got a knife. Come here. Oh, I'm choking him. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, you, you guys saw that, right? I, I, I had to kill him. He had a knife. I, let, 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 me just, uh, let me just plant one. There we go. Yeah, he had a knife. He, he was going to stab me. But Bumhole's right here. Oh, well, then who did I just kill? Oh, oh, I, I killed Booger. Oh, thank God. Huh, no problem. Uh, I'll just get rid of this body. Ugh, come here. Alright, so Boog is dead, but we still have to arrest Jeffy's imaginary friend. So Jeffy, tell your imaginary friend he can either come quietly, or he's gonna end up like Booger over there. Oh, oh, Bunghole, you have to turn yourself in. Now, Jeffy, why would I do that? Without putting up a fight. Die, copper! But, what'd he say? He got a gun. Oh shit! What? what? I, I, if I get shot with imaginary bullets, do I still die? Like, how does this work? Take this. He just shot you. Oh, I, I, well, I, I don't really feel anything. So I, I guess imaginary bullets can't hurt me. So, so, so what are we going to do? I, I don't know. I can't hurt him and he can't hurt me. Well, so what, why don't you think about imaginary friend and then you get your imaginary friend to kill his imaginary friend? Well, I just killed my imaginary friend. Well, well can't you pick your nose again? No, I promised I would never do that again. Come on, it's for your job. It's for, it's for, it's for freedom. <sighs> okay. Call me a nose picker. What? what? Do it. A nose picker. Yeah, I am a nose picker. Nose picker. Yeah, I'm just a nose picker. Nose picker. Stupid nose picker. Nah, you the man, Broken Guy. You the man. I was just up in heaven telling God. I was like, this man's the man, God. And he said he really wants to meet you, but he can't because you're never going to die because cause you the man. You the man, Broken Guy. I missed you. Hey, man. hey, hey, Bugger. You know yeah, who, what's up, man? You know who thinks I'm not the man? Nobody because you the man. Well, actually, that guy over there says I'm not the man. The, 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 not, not, not the kid in the helmet. The other one. The blue furry one? Y yeah, I guess. I, I, can't really, I, I can't really see him. But he says that he's the man and I'm not. How can he be the man if you're the man, man? I, I don't know, but you should go show him. I'll be right back. You can stop shooting, he's dead now! How, how do you even have that much ammo? Daddy, there's blood everywhere! Back up, stop! Look at, look at, calm down, you don't have to teabag his corpse! No. I can't say fuck, what's going on? Okay, 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 so here's what happened. My imaginary friend pulled out a gun and shot his imaginary friend, I think. Jimmy, what's going on your end? Daddy, Buckhole's dead! That's good. I can't, I can't see what's going on. That's good. That's, yeah, that's good. Let me let me tell you. It's good. It's good that you have a red couch because there's blood everywhere. Oh, okay. So his imaginary friend gone. Is your imaginary friend gone? Oh no, my imaginary friend's right here. Yeah, you the man, Brooklyn guy. You the man. Actually, you know what, Bugger? You're the man. No, 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 no. You the man, Brooklyn guy. You, you the man. Oh no, no, no. You're the man, Bugger. Nah, you the man. No, no. You're the man. No, nope, you are the man. No, no, no. You, you're the man. <laughs> no, you, you're the only man. No, come, come on, Booger, though. You're the, you're the man. God damn it, Booger, I'm telling you, you are the, you're the man. Booger, you are the only man. God damn you. Booger, Booger, I'm telling you, you're, I'm not the man because you're the man. There can only be one man. Do, do you have to go? Yes, I, I'm sorry. We should, we should probably go. Thank you for getting rid of Jeffy's imaginary friend. <laughs> Daddy, I miss Bunghorn so much. Jeffy, look, 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 look. Jeffy, you don't need an imaginary friend because you have the best friend right here. Your dad, I'll be your best friend. You said I ran to lunch. What? Well, you, you, you do, Jeffy, but I'll, I'll, I'll run to lunch with you, okay? Let me, let me just do what you do. Did Jeffy punch?
Robin is now on sale. So go get yours today at smlmerch.com. All right, class. So after you do all that, the answer is two equals six. Does everyone see how I got that answer? Yes. So easy. Well, I have no idea what he's talking about. Me either, dude. I'm so lost. Then me too. Because, class, you're going to need to know how to solve all of this, but ten times harder for tomorrow's major big important test. How important is tomorrow's major big important test? Very major, very big, very important, and very test. So say it with me, class. Major, big, Important test. Major big important test. Major big important test. Major big important test. Major big important test. Come on, guys, sing it. Major big important test. Major big important test. And if you fail tomorrow's major big important test, you go all the way back to kindergarten. So you better not fail tomorrow's major big important test. Uh, teacher, I don't know any of that stuff. I'm gonna fail. Yeah, me too. Jesus Christ, Christ! Do you not pay attention when I teach? Or am I just up here talking to myself? You guys are literally stressing me out so much, you're making my eyes even more shrank than they usually are. Oh, how many fingers am I holding up? Oh, I don't know, cause I can't see shit. Guys, it is super simple that two equals six. I even show you how two equals six and you still don't know how two equals six? You guys are stupid. You guys need to go home and study. I'll see you tomorrow, Cross. Aww. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm about to pass this test. Dude, can I come over to your house so we can study together? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, Joseph. We both need to study. Let's go. Yeah, come on. All right, Joseph. We need to study all night for this test. All right, dude, let's start studying. Or we can play Super Smash Brothers all night. Oh, let's do it, dude! Let's do it! Yeah! <sighs> what time is it? Joseph, wake up! What, dude? It's 6 a.m. We 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 didn't study, dude. We didn't study. We're gonna fail. Oh man, we better get used to kindergarten. At least they have nap time. I don't wanna fail. Oh, me neither. But I gotta go to school now. No, I can't fail. I can't fail. My dad will kill me. Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> huh? Starting to get sick. <coughs> Shut, baby! I can't go to school. I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chef BB. Hey, hey, hey. What do you want, Julia? Can't you see I'm cooking breakfast? Well, Chef BB, I woke up with a huge cough, and I don't think I can go to school today because I have a really big test. Oh, you have a big test, and you're sick? Yeah. Wow, what a coincidence. Yeah. Uh, why don't I believe you, though? Be because you're a mean, mean yelling machine. What the hell? You know what? I'm going to call a doctor because you're not even making sense now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm really sick. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, stop. Stop that. I got a call about a sick kid. What's up? Yeah, Junior says that he's sick, but he has a big test today. Okay, I think I see what's going on. He doesn't want to take the test, so he's pretending to be sick so he doesn't have to go to school. See, that's what I think. Okay, I'll talk to him. Hey there, kiddo. So tell me your symptoms. What, you got a, you got a tummy ache, maybe a headache, or a runny nose? Well, actually, I've been coughing up a lot of blood. Yeah, a lot of blood. I've been diarrheaing a lot of blood, too. And actually, my eyes have been bleeding. Okay. Well, from over here, it doesn't look like your eyes are bleeding. Well, I just wiped off all the blood. I wiped down the couch. You can see it's red. It's all the blood. Oh. Yeah, this used to be a white couch. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, uh, that sounds a lot like Ebola. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I have. Shabby B, I have Ebola. I have Ebola. That's what I have. Yeah, that's really bad. A lot of people die from Ebola. Yeah, so I don't have to go to school, right? Well, normally I'd write you a note so you could stay home from school, but you do have that really important test. But I have Ebola! Well, oh, Junior, you gotta take that test. But I have Ebola, guys! Now, the test is more important, but don't worry, it's not gonna affect anybody else. I'm gonna put you in this. Wait, what is that? It's a giant hamster ball. See, my hamster died this morning, so I don't really need it anymore. Oh, well, what's that gonna do? Well, I'm gonna put you in it so you can't infect anybody else. Oh. Come here. Uh, uh, See, it works out for everybody. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna go get the other piece so I can lock this, and then we'll roll you to school. But, oh, 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 baby, this is actually a good idea, because from inside this ball, I can't touch the test, so I don't have to take the test. Whatever. Yeah, I like this ball. All right, the piece is all locked in, now you can't get out. Okay, but what if I have to use the bathroom? Well, it looks like you're just gonna have to sit in a big poop pee snow globe. So you have fun with that. Good luck on your test, kid. Oh, I will. <laughs> yeah, 
Junior, what the hell is that? Oh, hey, Cody, I have Ebola. Junior, you do not have Ebola. Yes, I do, Cody. The doctor said I have Ebola, so he put me inside this bubble thing so I don't touch anything from the outside, so I don't have to take the test. J Junior, how did you even get Ebola? Well, I asked Chef PP for a bowl of ice cream, and he gave me Ebola ice cream. <laughs> Junior, are you just pretending to have Ebola so you don't have to take the test? Yes, Cody, now shut up! Dude, do you have any more of that Ebola ice cream? No, I ate it all. Uh -huh. Alright, Crass, are you ready for major big important test? Uh, teacher, uh, I have Ebola, so I can't take the major big important test because I can't leave the bubble, so I can't touch anything outside the bubble, so uh, can I be excused from the test? Oh, you have Ebola? Okay. I guess you excuse from major big important test. Yes! See, Cody, I don't have to take the test. It's unbelievable. Oh, I wish I had Ebola. Actually, Crass, everybody excuse from major big important test because my wife Kim gave happy ending to big businessman and he gave her $10,000 tip. So we're gonna have a fucking party with pizza and donuts and cupcakes all paid for by my wife's left hand. So let's start this f***ing party! What? Dude, that's awesome! I kinda wanted to take the test, but this is even better. <laughs> Sucks for you though, Junior. No pizza, donuts, or cupcakes for you. You gotta stay inside that ball. Aww! Alright, Cross, just grab whatever you want. A pizza, a f***ing whatever the hell you want. Oh man, I haven't eaten in much! Alright, it's first come, first serve. It looks like I'm always going to be the first served. <laughs> I'm premature. Mm, mm, mm. You're missing out, Junior. I don't know what to eat first. I got donuts and cupcakes and pizza. I think I'll start with the cupcakes so I can pack some fudge. I really want some! Ah, too bad, Junior. You have Ebola, remember? You can't leave your bubble. Oh, teacher, can I have some pizza and cupcakes? I made a donut lighthouse! Ebola kid! How you gonna eat if you can't leave your bubble? If you leave your bubble, you get us all sick! And I don't want Ebola. Oh, wait, wait a minute, hold on. All right, here you go. You can look, but you can't touch unless you're big businessman. Then you can touch as long as you leave big tip. So stay in your ball, Ebola kid. Oh, I really want to eat it. Go ahead, Junior, eat it. <laughs> <laughs> How's your day at school with your Ebola? <sighs> Somebody threw a cupcake at you? No, I couldn't eat the cupcake and I'm inside a ball. Oh, well, dinner's ready. Come downstairs so you can eat. <sighs> oh, I have to go downstairs? Okay, how am I gonna do this? I guess I can just do one step at a time, just really carefully. <laughs> Macaroni and cheese, Chef PB, that's my favorite! Oh, I know! I made it just for you, so eat up! What? Chef PB, I, I can't eat it! Oh, you can't eat it? Why? Oh, you want me to feed it to you? What? No! Oh, I can feed it to you open wide for the airplane! Yeah! Yeah! Oh! Oh, no! Not again! It's an inside job! Macaroni can't melt! Still beams! Oh, yo, I'm just going to bed, Chef PB! <laughs> Well, more for me then. Aww. Hey, Junior. Nice ball. Hey, Cody. Nice fat mom. Okay, then. Hey, dude. How long do you have to stay in this stupid ball? How long are you not going to have parents? Jeez, Aww. Junior. You're in a mood today. Well, guys, I'm stuck inside a stupid plastic ball. I couldn't have cupcakes or pizza today or macaroni and cheese. Well, it's your fault, Junior. You faked having Ebola. I don't want to take the test. Well, this is what you get for lying. Well, dude, at least you didn't have to take the test. <laughs> Shut how'd you get here? Oh, I don't know, dude. I, I was just over there, and then I just ended up in here. Well, get out! I don't know how to get out. Dude, I'm out of here! What? G guys, what the hell's going on? I don't know. Jeff just came in here. I get out! I'm trying to get out! Dude, I'm out of here! Well, look, Cody, help us! Well, I don't know what to do, Junior. Well, break it open. Just punch it open. Yeah! Okay. Ugh. Well, I Come tried. On. Cody, I, I know you're hunky. I know you can break this open. Well, Junior, I used all my hunkiness for today. Cody, look. Look, somewhere deep down in you, I know you're hunky enough. Look, if you break this ball open, I'll, I'll, I'll kiss you with my tongue on your mouth. <laughs> well, Cody, you broke it open! Yeah, now pucker up. <laughs> Whoa, dude! Papa 
Halloween is now on sale. So go get yours today at smlmerch.com. You can fly it around everywhere, and it's super cheap. It's just 75 payments of $19.99. Buy it now. See, gang? That's what I want. I want that. You want a drone, Jeffy? Yeah. It's really expensive. Well, it's only $19.99. 75 payments of $19.99. That's $1,500, Jeffy. Well, when you put it like that, it's expensive. You know what? Fine, Jeffy. I'll get you that drone, but as long as you promise me that you won't play with rat traps anymore. All right, Danny. All right, let me yes, get you. Play well. Let me get you that drone. All right, Jeffy. Here's your drone. Yay! Ugh. All right, Jeffy. Just don't do anything stupid with it. I'm gonna go use the bathroom. All right, Danny. Hold on. Is it number one or number two? It's both. Ew. Yeah. <coughs> just don't fly it in the house, okay? <coughs> All right, Danny. It's like a booty. <coughs> Hey, Jeffy, what are you doing? Whoa, is that a drone? Don't touch it. It's my expensive ass fidget spinner. And I got four of them. <coughs> uh, okay, well, uh, you want to fly it in the house? <gasps> Hell yeah, Junior. Yeah, yeah, you can hold on to it, and I can fly you around the house. I can fly? Yeah, I mean, as long as you hold on to it. Oh, yeah, Junior, let's go do that. Oh, uh, let's go do it. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, are you ready to take off? Yeah, Junior, let's go. All right, let's go. <sighs> I'll try to get you down. It's not working. I think this is a Game Boy SP. I'm trying to get you down. I'm trying to get you down. I'm trying. not to do anything stupid with that drone. And you know what you did? You did something stupid with it. Well, Danny, I just really wanted to be a bird. Well, Jeffy, don't be a bird. Do not attach yourself to that stupid drone. All you're supposed to do is fly it. And not even supposed to fly it inside. You're supposed to fly it outside, okay? So don't fly it inside anymore. Okay, Danny. Stop being stupid. <sighs> oh, 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 Jeffy, that was a close one. What'd your dad say? He said we have to play with the drone outside, Junior. <laughs> Outside? <gasps> yeah. Jeff, you know what we should do? War. We should fly that drone to Mars. Hell yeah. But Junior, can, this time can I fly it? Uh, yeah, sure. I didn't know how to control it anyway. Let's go. Okay. Oh, it is a perfect day for flying. It's just beautiful up here. There's not a cloud in the sky. All right, let's talk to the passengers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Captain Brooklyn T. Guy speaking. Uh, I have turned off the fasten seatbelt sign, so you are now free to roam around the cabin. Uh, we're expecting a pretty smooth and easy flight today. Uh, it's going to be the smoothest, actually. This is going to be the smoothest and safest flight anyone has ever had. I'm going to say that right now. That's a guarantee from me, your captain. This is going to be the safest flight. You, you, could, you, could make, you could make a house of cards right now in the cabin, and it wouldn't even fall over. Eight stories high, doesn't matter. It's not going to fall over, because this flight is going to be so smooth. I, I don't think I could crash this plane if I wanted to, you know? I, I really don't think I could. And if you're worried about hijacking, don't worry about that, because no one would even bother to try to hijack the plane, because they wouldn't want to ruin how smooth this flight is going to be, all right? So you have nothing at all to worry about. Over and out. Ah, yeah. All right, Jeffy, are you ready to launch this drone and go to Mars? Yeah, let's go to Mars! Let's go to Mars! <laughs> Jeffy can go higher. I'm going, Junior. Even higher. Uh oh. Uh -oh. What, what, what the hell was that? Oh, oh, oh my God! Wait, wait, wait! Uh, oh shit! 
shit, we lost the weight! Holy shit, I'm not- I'm a mayday, mayday, we're, we're going down! Oh my god, I'm trying to correct it, oh my god, we're going down! Scream! Everybody scream! Scream for your lives! That stupid plane hit our drone! Oh, uh, Jeffy, we should go inside! Run, run, run! Okay. Oh, hey, Daddy, what are you doing? Oh, just sitting here on the couch, that's what you're doing? What, what, I'm just watching TV, Jeffy, what's wrong? You seem nervous. Oh, I didn't just fly a drone into an airplane or anything. Why, why, why would you say that? Why wait, would you think that? Wait, what? What? What's wrong, Jeffy? What are you trying to say? Daddy, I have a question. What? If a fly didn't have wings anymore, would it be called a fly or would it be called a walk? Because it would be walking everywhere it goes. What? Yeah, kind of like the airplane outside. It doesn't have wings anymore, so would it be called a walk too? What? Jeffy, oh, shut up. The news is coming on right now. Hold on. It seems important. Breaking news, okay? A plane carrying 250 passengers has crashed in a cornfield, and the pilot, Brooklyn T. Guy is to blame. The reason why it is his fault is because he was driving the plane. If I was driving a car and I crashed into something, it would be my fault. So since he was the pilot of the plane, it is his fault, ladies and gentlemen. He managed to crash a plane on a sunny, no cloud day like today. Here is his picture, ladies and gentlemen. So make sure you shame him for all of eternity. More on the story as it develops. Oh my god, a plane crash! Those poor people! My poor drone! See, Jeffy, that's why I don't like flying. Flying is dangerous. Planes can crash out of nowhere for no reason! Or someone could have flown their drone into it. Je Jeffy, what do you keep saying? You keep saying something. If a fly didn't have wings, would it be called a fly or a walk? No, Jeffy, about, you keep saying something about your drone. Where is your drone? Oh, um, I sold it at a yard sale. A yard sale? Where? Um, that way. Jeffy, why would you sell your drone at a yard sale? Because I didn't want it anymore. Okay, well, then where's the money you made from it? Oh, I bought a new drone, and I flew that drone into the plane. What? Jerry, that was you? You're the reason why that plane crashed? Well, no, he flew his plane into my drone. Jimmy, I told you not to fly it outside, damn it! Oh, f that, Daddy. I was flying it inside, and then you got mad and said go fly it outside. And now that I flew it outside, now you're all pissed off that I shouldn't have been flying it outside? Well, I meant you're not supposed to fly it high outside. Oh, I'm not supposed to fly it as high as you are, Daddy. Okay, 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 okay look, look, what do we do? Do we call the cops? Well, what, what do we do? I don't know. This is your fault, Daddy. You told me to go play when it out shot. And if I call the cops, they're going to think it's my fault because I should have been watching you with that stupid drone and I shouldn't even gave you a drone. Uh, okay, okay. What, what, what do we do? Uh, you know what? No. We're going to sit here and act like nothing happened because if that drone really did crash in that plane, it's disintegrated by now and there's no way they'll find out. No, no, there's no way they can track it. So we're going to sit right here and we're not going to worry. Yeah. What? Who's that? Hold on, Jody. Stay right here. Uh, hello? Hey, buddy. Hey, uh, you got a shirt I can have? Maybe some underwear, at least? W what are you doing outside my house? Why are you naked? Oh, you know, I do this all the time. I like to stand outside the house naked in the freezing cold. That's my favorite thing to do, especially today. Yeah, t today's a good day in my book. Uh-huh. It's a big win for me today. Oh, oh okay. Well, I, I think I can get you a shirt or some underwear. Uh, hey, can I, can I maybe just come inside so I can cry in there? Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. Come on in. Thank you. Thanks for the diaper. It kind of suits me perfectly because I'm going to be crying like a baby all day. Yeah! So what's wrong? What happened? Uh, well, I assume you heard about the plane crash. It's all over the news. Oh yeah, you were the pilot. Wait, how are you alive? Well, I landed the plane safely. Nobody died. Oh, okay. So if you landed safely, then what's the problem? Well, I crashed the plane into a cornfield and the farmer's all pissed because I ruined all his corn, so he's suing me. And the airline's pissed because apparently crashing a $300 million plane and endangering the lives of 200 passengers is a big deal or something. Oh, so, so you only lost your your pilot job, what about your other jobs? Oh no, I lost all my jobs. Nobody will hire me. I lost my police job, I lost my doctor job, I lost my plumber job, I lost my electrician job, I lost my firefighter job, and I lost my hairstylist job, and I lost my mailman job, and I lost my pizza delivery guy job. All those jobs? All those jobs. So what are you gonna do for work? I don't know, no one wants to hire me. Whenever people see my face, all they see is plane crashes. They're calling me Mr. Plane Crash Guy. That's not my name. My name is Brooklyn Guy. Mr. Plane Crash Guy was my brother. He died back in 2001. Okay, well what about your wife? She has a job, right? Oh no, she left me. She didn't want to be married to somebody associated with plane crashes. She thought I crashed that plane on purpose. And don't even bring up my ex-wife. I tried going back to her. Yeah, I offered her a free gift card for a buffet. 
And no, she said no to that. Can you believe that? It's the first time that fat bitch ever said no to a buffet in her life. I must be terrible. Okay, well, you said they won't hire your face. Well, why don't you get a job as a telemarketer? All they're gonna do is hear your voice. They don't know your voice. No, no, they know my voice too. Yeah, they got the recording from the black box in the cockpit all over the news. They got it on loop. Listen. Breaking news, okay? We have an update on the plane crash. We have received the black box data recording of the conversation that the pilot was having in the cockpit as the plane was going down. Let's take a listen. Mayday, Mayday, Tower 1-4, this is Doritos Loco Tango Bravo. I'm missing my left wing and engine. We are going down. We are currently in a downward vertical spiral doing Mach 6. If anyone could get a picture, that'd be pretty lit for the documentary they're going to make on this. Uh, I'm going to alert the passengers to brace themselves. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking. If you look out the left side of the plane, you will see that we don't have a f***ing wing. If that's not already obvious, that is a problem. I'm going to turn on the fasten seatbelt sign, even though I can already hear you guys rolling around back there. Uh, my co-pilot is in the bathroom, so that's going to be a terrible time. But don't worry, I'm going to try to land this bitch in this cornfield. Uh, let me turn on some music. Tito, come on. Oh, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> now this is some music I could crash a plane to. Oh, yeah. All right. Is everybody okay back there? <laughs> that was awesome. Did you see that? I just landed this bitch with no wing. Suck it, Sully. <laughs> F corn. Wow. His fault. His fault, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. See, it's not that bad. I was professional through the whole thing. I never lost my cool. Yeah, that's not that bad. And are you sure you didn't see anything hit the plane? No, it was a beautiful day for flying. We were just on autopilot, cruising along. You know, this is the plane. And the next thing I know, it's... <whistles> we're gonna crash. <whistles> we're all gonna die. Where's my kid? He's on fire too! That. Well, okay, well look, it was it was an accident, and it, it was, we don't even know what caused it. It was just, the plane just, just did that randomly. Nothing hit it, not a drone, nothing, nothing like that. Like, just completely random. So, it's not your fault, and I'm not judging you for that. So, you know what? I'm gonna be your friend, and I'm gonna support you through this whole thing. So, so what do you need me to do? Well, I, I was kind of hoping I could stay here for a while and, and just mooch off you. Or at least just until you get tired of me, and then I could just go somewhere else and mooch off them for a while. Until they get tired of me, and then I just die, sad and alone, in a diaper. I just peed. Well, 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 come on, guy, don't give up. You, you sound like you're giving up. I don't want you to get up. Uh, you, you're gonna, you're gonna get your life back on track. You're not gonna give up. Uh, are you kidding me? I, 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 do you see me right now? I, I, I'm, 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 I'm in your house in a diaper, and I just pee. Okay, I need you to change me. This is me giving up. Oh, wait, wait, you're not gonna give up. We're gonna get you back on your feet. I don't even have feet. <laughs> I'm a no feet having plane crashing loser woozer. Come on, come on, guy, you're not a loser woozer. I'm a loser woozer. No, come on, that wasn't, the crash wasn't your fault. Oh, 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 um, uh, are you hungry? Yeah. You, you want some spaghetti? No. You want some chicken wings? Uh, you said wings like the plane I crashed. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Do you want a uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Yeah, but no crust though. Oh, okay, yeah, peanut butter jelly sandwich with no crust. Oh, okay, I'm gonna get you that. Thank you. Here you go, buddy. Here's your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. No crust. Uh, you know what the crust on this sandwich and the wings on that airplane have in common? What? They're both off. <laughs> oh, come on. You told me to cut the crust off. I changed my mind. I like the crust now. Okay, you know what? You're going to eat this sandwich. And look, you can eat the crust by itself. Like, look at this. Look, uh, open wide for the airplane. Yeah. It, it broke. Oh, God, I'm such a loser. Oh, okay, look, look, I'll make a sandwich with the crust, okay? Oh. All right, here's your sandwich with the crust. What? What'd you do? Well, you took too long, so I made myself into a peanut butter and loser sandwich. What? You made a huge mess. I know, and I, and I think I need a diaper change. The worst part is I'm allergic to peanut butter, so you should probably go ahead and call a doctor, because... I don't feel too good. <laughs> you're, you're ridiculous. Let me call a doctor. Yeah. Hey, did somebody call a doctor? Hey, that's my line and my job. Oh, yeah? Who are you supposed to be, a peanut butter and loser sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Hey, you didn't laugh at that joke when I made it. Oh, it was just the way he said it. So you're the new doctor? Yeah, my name is Bronx, dude. I, I got a lot of new jobs today. I'm the new doctor, cop, lawyer, firefighter, pilot. You name it, I do it. Yeah. Th th those are all my jobs. Oh, uh, yeah? Wait, wait a minute. I saw you on the news today. Yeah, you're that, you're that Brooklyn guy. Crashed a plane. Good going, buddy. Yeah, could have killed a lot of people there. Good thing you didn't, but uh, you could have. Are, are you going to stop him at some point? Oh, okay, look, look, he's allergic to peanut butter. That's why I called you. Uh, oh, yeah, he's allergic to peanut butter? You sure about that? He got it all over his body. I'm pretty sure he'd be dead by now if he was actually allergic to it. Oh, okay, okay, fine. I'm not actually allergic to peanut butter. I just wanted to see who took my job. And now that I know, f*** you. Uh, oh, yeah? Yeah, up yours, buddy. Oh, oh up yeah? yours. Oh, yeah? You, you yeah. want to you, you come over here and get a peanut butter and knuckle sandwich? I would, but I'm afraid i get some diaper on me, you big Brooklyn baby. Hey, hey it, it's been a very rough day, okay? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I couldn't tell by all the peanut butter and bread on your face, you mook. Well, well hey, you, you come over here and say that. You come a little closer. Oh, yeah? You think I'm scared of you? Yeah, you should yeah. be. You yeah, should what be. what you gonna do, crash a plane into me? Oh, 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 yeah, big man. Make yeah. fun of the plane yeah. crash. Oh, it yeah. happened today. I better not catch you on my side of town, buddy. We're yeah. in the same town, jackass. Oh, yeah, we in the same town? Is yeah. that what it is yeah. now? Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. in the same town, yeah. yeah. At least I don't look stupid with bread on my face. Oh, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd rather be a breadhead than have that stupid hat. What's with that hat? It's stupid. Oh, yeah, well, you're yeah. ugly. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, you, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 break it up, break it up, break it up. All right, you can leave because we don't need you anymore. Uh, yeah, you'll be getting my bill. Yeah, stupid. Uh, you clean yourself up. Uh, what a dick, right? Like he was, he was a dick. Well, uh, okay, look, you're the one with bread on your face and and, and peanut butter. Okay. Look, let's just turn on the TV, right, and watch some TV. Breaking news, okay? A new update on the plane crash situation. The pilot, Brooklyn T. Guy, is not to blame. We have new information developing that a drone was flown into the plane's jet turbine which caused the wing to come the fuck off. Science is truly amazing, ladies and gentlemen. So the new person to blame is Mario. He's the one who purchased the drone and registered the drone into his name. And also, he obviously thought that it was more important to spend $1,500 on a drone than to pay his fucking house payment. So you're telling me I did all of this because of you? No, no, actually, it's not my fault. It's my son's fault because my son wanted a drone, so I bought him a drone so he'd stop bothering me, and then he went and flew the drone, so, so blame him. Yeah, yeah, it's real good parenting. And because you gave your son a drone, he crashed that drone into my plane and ruined my life. Well, actually, no, your life's not ruined anymore. See, the news said they're not blaming you, so look, you can get your jobs back. That dude took all my jobs. Well, well, you, well look, look, they'll hire you back, right? Hmm. All right, I got an idea. Uh, could you order a pizza for me? Uh, y y yeah. Come in. Okay. Come on, come on, you bastard. Uh, I got a large pepperoni pizza. Ha <laughs> ha, pizza face. Not so pepperoni now, are ya? Ugh. Yeah, there's not too much room in there, is there? I hope you like your pizza hand-tossed! <laughs> now I can finally get back to work and stay out of my town! Hey, Mario, good news! I got my jobs back! Oh, you did? Yeah, and my wife came back, which is not as good news. Oh, well, that's still awesome. What happened to the other guy? Oh, uh, let's just say he had a special delivery. <laughs> let's just say I murdered him. What? <laughs> yeah, let's just say that I slowly smothered him to death with a pizza. Uh, okay. Yeah, but I got all my jobs back. Well, well that's good, I guess. Yeah, uh, the bad news is that my boss told me to come arrest you. Arrest me? Why? Because uh, of the whole drone incident. I mean, you did take down a plane with a drone. No, 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 that was my son, Jeffy. I didn't do that. Well, it was your drone, it was registered to you, but don't worry, since we're best buds now, I'm not gonna arrest you. I'm just gonna tell them that you resisted arrest, so I had to shoot you, and now you're dead, so they're gonna stop looking for you. And a dog came and ate your body, so there's no evidence. So you're totally fine. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I gotta talk to the kids real quick, hold on. Uh, hey, you, watching this video right now. If you have a drone, uh, don't fly it near a plane. That's that's very illegal. And uh, also, don't don't kill anybody with a pizza. Or just just don't kill anybody at all, really. Uh, don't don't really don't really copy any of the things you see us do in these videos. Just just as a general rule.
Pop and is now on sale. So go get yours today at smlmerch.com. Tyrone, when you gonna eat my booty like groceries? My booty be like Walmart, all full of snacks. Oh, after you take another shower, baby. You know my weed can't get wet. Tyrone, I know it's been a month, but I'm still upset. Why did you leave me for another woman? Damn it, Judas, we've been through this already. Look, your ass is getting old and wrinkly. Look, look, put it this way. If you was taking a flight, would you want to take a flight on an old, wrinkly, saggy, titty-ass airplane? No! You would want to take a flight on a smooth, sexy, private jet with a curvy ass and big titties. Mmm! Yeah, I guess. I would want to ride on the jet with the big titties. Damn right! And see, you're the old, wrinkly, you know, plane, and this is my private jet right here. So how about you go and find another nigga? Okay. Yeah, what's up, baby? Tyrone, why is she still living with us? I don't know. She weird. Mm. Yeah, you enjoying your massage, Ken? Ooh, your muscles are hard as plastic. You have a rough day at work? Mom, read the sign much? No girls allowed. Oh, Cody, can you turn me into a big tittied airplane? Wh what? Your father says he only likes airplanes with big titties, so I want to be one. Oh, uh, Mom, I, I, I don't think that's about airplanes at all. Oh. Well, your father says that I'm getting old and I'm wrinkly. I just wish I was young and hot again, like when I was 12. All the guys were hitting on me, at the bus stop, in the grocery store, you know? I, I guess, yeah. If it means that much to you, I guess I could make you younger, but it would take me a couple hours to build the machine, so I better get started. Okay, Mom. It took me all night, but the machine's finally finished. I call it the Jailbait 3000. Anybody I shoot with this thing is gonna turn into a 12-year-old. All right, Mom, prepare to get blasted. Oh, Cody, I'm young and hot again. Now I can date hot young guys. Thank you so much. Oh, okay, you're welcome, Mom. Whatever. Oh, man, school starts in like an hour. Ugh, I hate school so much. Hey, Cody, did you do my homework last night? What? No, no, sorry, Junior, I didn't have time. Listen here, nerd, you're supposed to do my homework every night. You want me to fail? No, sorry, I, I was just up all night. What, you get another piece of Ken stuck inside you? No, I got that out. It was just problems with my mom. Oh, oh she was keeping you up all night going oink, 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 because she's a pig? Uh, y yeah, that. Oh, right, well, Cody, you remember, you're supposed to feed her slop in the morning, not at night. Okay, I'll remember that. Yeah, keep your pig in line. Do my homework. All right, class. Today we're going to be celebrating the Happy Chinese New Year, the year of the pig. Ah, ah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Cody! Yeah? They dedicated a whole year to your mom. Yeah. Dude, your mom's a pig. Mm -hmm. A big, fat, stinky pig. Yeah. Oink, oink. <laughs> yeah, why'd the pig go to the market? Why? Because your mom needed more food because she's a pig. <laughs> yeah, dude, she's a pig. Oink, 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 Jesus, stop! All right, class, settle down, settle down. Stop calling kid my pig. All right, for Chinese New Year, you're a pig who wanna come up here and draw pig. I don't know how to draw pig. I know how to cook pig. Now draw pig. Who wanna draw pig? Oh, me, me, me. I wanna draw Cody's mom. No, I can draw Cody's mom better. No, I've seen her a lot. I've seen her too. We need a bigger board than that. I wanna draw. I wanna draw. I wanna draw. All right, Junior, you draw pig. Yay! I get to draw Cody's mom. Fair, dude. Of course he gets to draw it. Oh, I drew to draw big pig. Oh, I'll draw a big pig, because Cody's mom's a big pig. Uh, I'm going to need a lot more room than this. I'll use all the room you need right here. Oh, okay, I'll try to fit her, but it's going to be tough. And done. All right, look, so I draw a big pig, and it says, Hi, I'm Cody's mom. Oink. Oh, that's a big pig. Yeah, it's a really big pig. She sure is. <laughs> Hey, Cody, you see the drawing I did of your mom? Yeah, sure did. It uh, looks just like her. Yeah, I had, to, I had to shrink her down a lot to fit her on the board, but uh, I think I did pretty good. Mm. Hey, everybody. I'm Julian. I'm a new student. Who's DTF? Dude, a new student? Well, Cody, is that your mom? No, no. Why, why would you even say that? Cody, I know a pig when I see one. That looks like your mom. Well, well, well it's not. Oh, new student. Ha, oh, she is a girl. Why your parents don't leave you a park? That's what we do in China. Anyway... Uh, we, we don't have any new desks for a new student, so you're gonna have to sit with Cody. Okay, I'll sit next to my Cody Kins. Cody, that's your mom! No, 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 it's not. It, it, it's, it's my girlfriend. What, girlfriend? No, you did dogs! Well, I, I, I did, but then, but then I, I, I saw her rump, and I said, that, that's a good, that's a good girl rump. I, I'm into girls now, not, not dude rumps. 
Cody, quit being icky. I'm your mommy. See, look, she says she says she's your mommy. No, no, no I, I, I just call her mommy. Like, like when we're banging, you know, like you do. Like, yeah, you take that, mommy. Cody, stop it. Yes, I am his mother. See, look, she says you're your mommy. How is that your mom? She's so young. Okay, I hit her with a youth machine because she wanted to be young again so she could start dating. Oh, so she's a piglet now, a baby pig. Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> yeah, sure. D does she know it's the year of her? But, what? All right, class, head on down. She a girl, your pee pee get happy, get, get a little big, but think about baseball. Okay, class, so who ready to learn about the year of the pig? It all started in 2000 BP, before pig, when great, great egg roll. Cody, pass this note to your friend. Okay. Junior, here. It's a note from my mom. Uh, okay, I wonder what it says. I need to make pig. Big pig. Uh-huh. I hope he says yes. Ooh. Cody, what does oink mean? Alright, Crass, so your homework for tonight is to write a 10,000 word book report on all the things you know about pig. <laughs> 10,000 words? Oh, that sounds like a lot of paper. Nigga, I'm bored. 10,000 words? Usually I complain, but this book report on a pig is gonna be easy. I already got all 10,000 words. I got fat, I got stinky, I got ugly, I got Porky McPorkinson. Uh, well, Porky McPorkinson is two words. Well, I got fat again, and I got your mom. Yeah, that. Actually, Cody, can your mom come over and help me with my book report tonight? I need to look at her so I can think of all 10,000 words. Okay. All right, Junior, me and my mom came over to help you with your 10,000 word pig essay. Oh, thank you so much, Cody. I really need to look at her so I can get all those words. Cody, your friend's really cute. Back off, Mom, he's mine. All right, guys, so uh, let, me, let me get started. All right, so uh, Cody's mom is a pig, but she's also uh, fat. Uh, huge, uh, round, um, massive. Uh, Cody, what's another synonym for fat? Uh, rotund. Oh, rotund, that's a good one. Another one. Uh, gargantuan. Ooh, gargantuan. Oh, behemoth, don't forget behemoth. Oh yeah, that's a good one, behemoth. Okay, behemoth. Oh yeah, oh, don't forget lard and roly-poly round, ugly. Hold on, let me look at her again. Uh, uh... Oh, I have one. Chubby. Uh... Junior. Junior. Chubby. Oh, I, I don't like that one. Why not? That's fat. Chubby means fat. Uh, no, I, 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 don't, I think I like pretty. What? Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Pretty, like pretty fat. No, like, like pretty beautiful. But n no, no, Junior. We're, we're talking about fat words. You, you have to be mean, right? Because she's, she's fat like a pig. Cody, why would you say that about your own mother? I, I don't. He, he says that all the time. What? I've never heard him say that. Yeah, Cody, why would you say that about your own mom? She's not fat. She's gorgeous. What? Oh, F you guys. Hey, uh, so I know we just met and everything, but would you like to go, like, sip on a go-gurt together? Okay. Let's go. No, 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 don't sip go-gurt. Oh, it's so messy. Sorry, I opened it too fast and I squeezed too hard and it just went all over the place. Sorry, it was my first time. Oh, that's okay, I like the go good. What, what the hell's going on here? Oh, hey, Cody, I was opening up a go-gurt and I squeezed too hard. See, it just came out all over the place. I'm sorry. Oh, well, well, I'm still upset. Mom, come on, let's get you washed out. Well, Cody, uh, I'm gonna go ask my dad for some advice. Uh, hey, Dad. What do you want, Junior? I'm watching TV. Well, there's this girl I like, and I need advice on asking her out. Uh, girl? Ew, gross, cooties. Who talks to girls anymore? Well, Dad, I really like her. I need advice. The only advice I have is, um, lie to her. Yeah, don't tell her the truth. Just, uh, lie to her, never show up on time, spit in her face, be gross, you know? And, um, be a bad boy. Girls love bad boys. Okay. And no doesn't mean no. Think about it. Just just think about it. Whenever you're at a restaurant and they ask you, do you want dessert? And you say no, and they still bring it, you know you're going to eat the dessert, right? Yeah, of course I'd eat. I mean, they already brought it out. Of course. That's some good advice, Dad. Right? If no meant no, you wouldn't be alive, Junior. So just whip it out. You know, she's going to be like, oh, my God, it's already out. What should I do? Oh, I can't do nothing about it. It's surprise, surprise. Oh, good advice, Dad. Thank you. Mm-hmm. That's how I got your mom. All right, Mom. We got you all cleaned up. Now let's go home. What's up, trash? Junior, what are you doing? Just being cool, like I always am. <laughs> hey, ugly. Yeah? Wanna be my girlfriend? Oh, yeah! Of course you do. Knew you weren't gonna say no. If you said no, it'd still mean yes. <laughs> 
Cody, your friend's really cool. No, he's not, Mom. Hey, ho. Y yeah? Wanna go to the movies? Oh, okay. Yeah, get on your leash. Come on. Oh, I heard this movie's really good. It's How to Train Your Dragon. Of course it's a good movie. Oh. Um, can I have a drink? This popcorn's making me really thirsty. How about you drink your own spit? Oh, okay, Daddy. I already bought you popcorn. What more do you want from me? You think I'm made of money? <laughs> of course I am, but I'm not gonna spend it on you. Now shut up, the movie's starting. No! No! Bad Dragon! You do not poo-poo in the house! You poo-poo outside! Bad! Bad Dragon! <laughs> He's training that dragon. <laughs> yeah? Hey, oh, did I say you could talk? Uh, no. Shut up! Okay. The movie's on. God, I'm trying to watch the movie. <sighs> Talking and stuff. Bad. Bad dragon. Okay, bad. You see that? That's your pee pee. You don't pee pee in the house. You pee pee outside. You rub your nose in it. No, you do this outside. Outside. <laughs> He's rubbing his nose in it. So, um, uh, you want to make out? Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, what, 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 oh, what, what is this, Shrek? What's that kid? You turned into an ogre? It's a big fat ogre pig? Ew, what happened to you? Well, I thought you loved me. No, you're, you're a big fat ugly pig again. And it, ew, you're gross. Get away from me, lady. Ew. Oh. Yeah, Ken, if Junior ends up being my stepdad, I'm going to lose it. Oh, Cody, your friend doesn't like me anymore. He says I'm all old and wrinkly. What happened? Oh, well, I guess the machine wore off after you had true love's first kiss. Oh. Cody, your fat mom tried to eat me when I was at the movie theater or something. Ew, there she is! Ew, fat pig! Oink, 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 oink. Or maybe the machine just wore off. Oh, Cody, who am I gonna date now? Um, have you seen Junior, Cody? Him. That one. That's the one I want next. Hey there, big boy. Ew, stay away from me! Ew, cooties! Cooties, 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 cooties! Oh, yeah, he's mine. What do you want to do today? Junior, I have nothing to do today. I'm down for whatever you want to do. Literally anything. Yeah, me too, dude. Anything? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, I know what I want to do. Ugh, help me assemble this. Oh, man, that is huge, dude. What? Guys, it's a huge Lego set. And look how many pieces there are. There's 1,969. <laughs> 69. Oh, man, that's a lot of pieces, dude. I know, so we should all assemble it, right? Junior, I said I had nothing to do today. Not all week. This is going to take forever. Well, it's not going to take that long, guys. Look, there's three of us. We can get it done. Well, Junior, it says it's for ages 14 and up. I, we're 10 years old. But by the time we're done with this, we'll be 14 or older, so I guess that works. Come on, guys. Y'all said y'all were down for anything. Anything I want to do. And I want to build this. Okay. I guess so, dude. Guess yeah, let's, I... yeah, let's get started. Come on. <sighs> yeah. Okay, Junior. I need four of these red pieces. Four red pieces? Yeah. Um, ooh, there's a red A. Junior, I don't need a red A. It's, it's like a square shape. Okay, uh... I don't see any red pieces. You know, Junior, this would probably be a lot easier if you didn't dump out all the bags. Cody, I was just trying to help. I thought if I poured out all the bags, we'd be able to see all the pieces. Junior, they put them in bags so that you can find the pieces easier. Okay, Cody, so what's complaining gonna do, huh? It's gonna take a bag of time before I put out all the bags? Just, just, just find four red pieces. Okay, um, uh... Oh, 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 I found it, I found it! Boom, I'm trying to help. There's a red piece right there. Okay, first of all, this isn't the piece I need, and second, I need four of them. Uh, okay, Cody, well, I, I don't know where it's at. Okay, just ask Joseph. Joseph, do you have any red pieces? Oh, dude, I made a car! Whoa, well, Cody, Joseph made a car! A car? J Junior, did you want a car or a rocket? I don't know, Joseph's car is looking pretty cool, better than your stupid rocket. I mean, what is that? Uh, okay, look, I am on step 146, it's been an hour, and this is all I have, because yeah. I don't have any red pieces. Okay, well, look, first of all, Joseph, do you have any red pieces? Uh, yeah, but I need it for the spoiler, dude. Okay, Joseph has the red pieces, but he needs it for the spoiler for his car. But those are the red pieces I've been looking for! I need those. Um, Cody said he needed those. But, but dude, I need it for my spoiler. Look, it's better that, it, that way. It's more aerodynamic, dude. He said it's more aerodynamic. Okay, that's fine. You know what, Junior? How about we don't even build a rocket ship? It's fine. I didn't want to build it anyway. Cody, you want to build something easier? Yeah, yeah, I would like that a lot. Okay, fine. I'll get you something easier to build. Yeah, I want to complain all the time. Look, how about we just build this space shuttle, okay? Okay. What, Junior? What? You idiot! You mixed these pieces with the other pieces! Cody, I didn't mix any pieces. Look, the, the pieces for this are on top. On top? of what? The other pieces? Now they're all scrambled. How are we going to find them? 
But now they're scrambled. Oh, great. Now we're never going to get finished. Just build this. You said it'd be a lot easier. It's not going to be easy now that it's mixed with the other rocket ship pieces, you idiot. Now there's someone at the door. Maybe it's a, a genius that can actually help us find pieces unlike you. Uh, hello? Uh, moo! Moo! Oink, oink, oink! Oh, hello! What nice manners. Uh, is Cody here? I, I, I need him to come home so I can wash his tushy like the mama lion from Lion King. Uh, yeah, he's here. I'll go get him. Cody, check out my car! Look at the spoiler, dude! Yeah, you think the spoiler's tall enough? Hey, Cody, your big, fat, ugly pig mom's at the door. She said you have to go home. Oh, thank God. She's saving me. I don't have to deal with this anymore. Well, I wouldn't want to go home with that big, ugly mom. Oh, you know what, Junior? At least I have a mom, unlike you two. Whoa, dude, that's harsh. But it must suck for you, because you don't even know your mom, dude. Well, your mom ran away. Well, I know she ran away, but at least I know my mom, dude. You don't know your mom. Hmm. Well, Joseph, you can go home. Oh, 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 okay, but um, I'm gonna take my car with a nice spoiler. Oh, I don't know my mom. <sighs> dad! Uh, hey, Dad. Wait, Junior, what are you doing in here? Well, I, I have a question. Um, who's my mom? Uh, 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 what? what? Uh, who's my mom? Uh, uh, y your mom? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, Junior, don't you remember? Y y your mom was the stork. She flew in and just dropped you. You were in your little white diaper bag. You remember the stork. Dad, that's a cartoon. Like, who's my real mom? Like, Cody has a mom and Joseph has a mom. I mean, Joseph's mom ran away, but everyone has moms and they know who their mom is. But I don't know who my mom is, so where did I come from? <sighs> look, look, okay, Junior, you got me. I'm, I'm your mom. What? Dad, you can't be my mom. You're my dad. Oh, I'm your dad, but I'm your mom too, Junior. Look, you came from my butt. Yep, yep, I pooped you out. It was a real bad poop. I was constipated, but you came from my butt. Dad, I couldn't come from your butt. No, you came from my butt, Junior. That's why I call you shit and little turd. Yeah, yeah, you're a little poop. Oh, d Dad, th there's no way I came from your butt. Who's my real mom? Junior, I'm your mom. Don't ask me that question anymore. You came from my butt. Be satisfied with that answer. Okay, Dad. I'm, I mean, Mom. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Call me Mom. Whew, that was close. I can't let him know that his mom actually left him just, you know, to hang out and dry. Oh, let me call her and uh, let her know that he wants to talk to her. Come on, Shelby, pick up the phone! Stop being stubborn all the time! Uh, uh, hello? Shelby? Are you there? Oh, come on, Shelby, don't give me the silent treatment now! Look, we bang! I see you naked! We have a son together! Look, it's time for you to actually come and see your son. I know you don't want to see him because he looks like me, and you hate me, but look, I'm concerned. He's sad and depressed and... Shelby, look, it's time for you to be a real mom. And when you're ready, you know my address. Show up. Ugh. Man, I really wish Shelby would come and visit Junior so he could have a mom. Wait, what? Who could that be? Hello? Hello? Who's out here? Shelby? Oh, Shelby, is that really you? Oh, you really do care. You do care about Junior. Oh, come on. Let's come inside. Oh, doing the dishes. Oh man, this dish is so clean, I can actually lick it! You like that, baby? You like that? Chef uh, uh, uh. Peepy! Bowser, what do you want? Can't you see I'm doing the dishes? Hey, Chef Peepy, after you're done doing the dishes, I need you to make a big family dinner for us. And if you don't do it, I'm gonna beat you to death with that plate! You got me? Too fast, Humps, if you got me. Okay. All right, Junior, I know you've been asking who your mom is, and she finally came to see you. What, she did? Yeah, this is your mom, Shelby. Well, Shelby, that's my mom? Yeah, she's beautiful, and I hit that from behind. High five. Oh, yeah, Dad. Yeah. I can't believe that's my mom. I finally know who my mom is. She's so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Hi, Mom. I'm, I'm Junior. I haven't seen you that many times. It was my first time seeing you, but I love you so much, Mom. I'm so glad I finally meet you. Oh, oh, Dad, this is so awesome. I have a mom now. Yeah, I know. It's great. And now we're going to have a big family dinner so you can, you know, really get to meet her. Oh, that's so awesome. That's going to be so cool. I can't wait. Mm-hmm. But I need you to, you know, go somewhere because me and her got to get us some alone time. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, y'all have some alone time. And I love you guys. And y'all are awesome. And hi, Mom. And I love you. Yeah! Yeah, he's a little excited. But come on, Shelby. Let's go upstairs. Oh, man, I'm so glad I finally got to meet my mom. Oh. Maybe my mom and dad can help me with my Lego missile. <gasps> They're like a big happy family. I'm gonna go see. Oh baby, you a super freak. I like that. 
How about we do like we did in the old days and get real nasty? <laughs> dad, dad, dad! Junior, what the hell are you doing in here? Can't you see I'm trying to smash? Oh, sorry, dad. Oh, look, I'm just trying to make you a brother or sister. Oh, well, well, I'd really like to have a sister. Well, let me do my thing. Come on, get out of here. Okay, sorry, dad. Uh, hi, mom. Bye, mom. All right, let's get to it, baby. Wait, c come out that shield. You already know what it is. You know you call me Big Dick Bowser. You know I'm back in. Baby. Oh, don't act shot now. Junior, get in here! Yeah, Dad? Since you rudely interrupted me and your mother's alone time, she doesn't even want me to smash! And since you wanted to be so annoying, how about you spend time with her? O okay, I will. <sighs> oh, sorry, Dad's, Dad yells a lot. Oh, I love you, Mom. Um, so first off, my friend Cody, he's a stupid nerd, and uh, he doesn't think that I have a mom, and he made fun of me, so can I invite him over and, and rub you in his face? Okay, I'll invite him over right now. All right, Cody, I'd like you to meet my mom. Junior, this is a turtle. Yeah, and what am I? Oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, I'm a turtle, she's a turtle, this is my mom. Uh, okay, but Junior, how do you know this isn't just a normal turtle? Uh, because my dad banged this one. Oh, well, I guess that makes it pretty official. Yeah, so she's my mom. And you know what's cool about her being my mom? You can't call her a fat cow, you can't call her a fat pig, because you wanna know what she is? A turtle? Yeah, so the only thing you can call her is a turtle. Oh, I, I guess I could call her slow. Well, well, I could call you four eyes. Oh. Okay. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, I guess I wouldn't like that. Yeah, so this is my mom, and she loves me, and she's not fat and ugly like your mom. She's gorgeous, and she looks just like me. Look. Yeah, no, yeah, you're right. It, it, yeah, you look just like her. Yeah, yeah, so anyway, this is my mom, and you can just screw off now, forever, because my mom finally came back to me, and she loves me. See, look, ew, she's looking at you like, ew, you're uh, ugly. Okay, I guess I'll leave then. Yeah, bye, Cody. Jeez. See, mom, those are my friends. Yeah, four eyes, right? Anyway, I'll see you at dinner, mom. Bowser wants me to make this big, nice family dinner for him. We're not even a family. I don't even know what to cook. Wait, what the hell? Is that a real life turtle in the kitchen? <laughs> well, you know what that means. We're gonna make turtle soup. <laughs> turtle in the pot. Turtle in the pot. I'm about to make the soup. I'm about to make the soup. <laughs> All right, now let me get the spices. Where are they? <laughs> yeah, Junior Bowser. Oh man, Dad, this smells delicious. Yeah, I don't know what Chef Pee Pee cooked, but it looks good. Yeah, I can't wait to try it. Oh, oh man, Dad, this tastes good. Oh yeah, I love it. <laughs> wait, wait, Dad, where's Mom? Yeah, where is she? Oh, I hope she didn't run away again. Uh, hold on, uh, uh, let me ask Chef Pee Pee if he's seen her. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Chef Pee Pee. Oh, hey, Junior. Oh, I know what you're here for. You're here to thank me for that wonderful soup I made. Uh, I mean, the soup was pretty good, Chef Pee Pee. Yeah, it was delicious, right? I loved it, but uh, I have a question. Have you seen my mom? <laughs> Junior, don't play with me. Stop joking. Look, you are a bastard child. You don't have a mom. Well, I, I do have a mom, Chef Pee Pee. She came to visit me today. Junior, you were obviously dreaming, and you woke up! It was a dream! What? Sorry to break the news to you, idiot! Well, no, Chef Pee, it's not a dream. I really do have a mom. She came to visit me today! Well, where is she at, then? Uh, that's why I came to ask you. Where is she at? Have you seen her? No, I haven't seen her. What does she look like? Well, uh, she, uh, looks like a turtle. <laughs> a turtle? Are you serious? Yeah, like an actual, like, animal turtle. Like, a real turtle. Wait, an actual turtle? Yeah, like an actual animal turtle. Like, she'll be crawling on the ground somewhere. Yeah, yeah, my mom's a turtle. If you, if you saw a turtle on the ground, that was my mom. If you see my mom, just let me know. <laughs> oh. oh, hey, Junior. I don't know what Chef Pee put in the soup, but it's delicious. Yeah, it is really good. Wait, did Chef Pee see your mom? No, he said he hasn't seen her. Oh, my God. I bet she left again like the first time when you were born. That hoe. This is why I have trust issues with women now. Wait, wait. So you think mom left again? Yup, because she's a hoe, and hoes going to be hoes. So I couldn't blame Tammy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, I can't believe I could do you small! <laughs> I'm definitely going to hell now! Oh man, oh, oh my god, I ate her! I actually ate the bowl of her! <laughs> oh, and I fed it to Junior too! He 
你也在画画，我的妈，快嘟嘟，我顶比比顶。You got to tell Junior. You got to tell Junior. You can't be such a horrible person. You know what? I'm going to tell him now. <laughs> hey, Junior. Hey, Chef Pee Pee. You want to make a Lego missile with me? Uh, no. Look, I have some bad news to tell you. Go ahead and tell me. There's nothing you could tell me to make my day any worse. My mom left. Wait, wait, your mom left? Oh, wait, that's the bad news I had to tell you. Your mom left. Uh, that was the only news I had to tell you. Uh, so bye bye. Oh, come on, Chef Pee. You can't do him like that. You have to tell him the truth. Come on, tell Junior the truth. <laughs> you know what, Junior? I actually know what happened to your mom. What, she left me because she hates me. Uh, uh, no, no, Junior. Your mom. <sighs> Junior, you ate her. I don't hate her. No, Junior, you ate her. What? Ate her? No, I only have one mom. I don't have eight of them. No, Junior, you idiot! Oh, I cooked your mom and I fed her to you. You ate her. What? Yes, yes, I saw her crawling on the floor. I'm so sorry. I put her in the pot. I cooked her, stirred it up, and I fed her to your dad and you. <laughs> what? I'm so sorry, Junior. I fed you your mom. Oh. I didn't know she was your mom. No. Oh. Oh, sorry, mom. Chef Pee, you didn't cook her. My mom's right there. She's right there. No, 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 no way, Junior. I'm telling you, I put her in the pot and everything. I cooked her. I cooked her to death. What? No, Chef Pee, you didn't cook her. Oh, you put her in a pot. I took her out of the pot. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, Chef Pee, this is what happened. Chef Pee, -Pee when's dinner gonna be ready? Chef Pee, -Pee? What? Mom? What? Mom, what are you doing in the pot? That's Chef Pee Pee's pot. Get, get out of there, Mom. Ugh. There you go, Mom. Now stay out of Chef Pee Pee's pot. He doesn't like stuff like that. So I'll see you at dinner. Let me put this back. Let me put this back. Oh, hey, Chef Pee Pee. Junior, what are you doing in the kitchen? Uh, I'm over here, Chef Pee Pee. Uh, over where? To your right. Junior, what are you doing in the kitchen? Oh, wait, why are you wearing a blindfold? Because, Junior, I'm about to cook a live animal, and I don't want to witness the death. Look, 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 it's going to be a slow and painful death. I don't want to witness it at all, okay? So okay. just, can you turn on the stove for me? Uh, okay. <sighs> I, 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 it's on. All right, now get out of here. I don't want you to witness it either. It's going to be gruesome. Uh, okay. All right, now let me find that water. Oh, where is it? Oh, oh here it is. Oh, oh, just get the boiling. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. All right, that sounds right, though. Uh, uh, all right, here's the lid. All right, be quiet, turtle. It's going to be slow, but just be quiet, please. <laughs> See, Chef Pee that's what happened. You didn't kill her. Look, she's alive. Oh, thank God I didn't kill her. Oh, I thought I killed her, but I didn't kill her. <laughs> yeah, you, you didn't kill her, Chef Pee My mom's alive. Oh, I love you so much, Mom. Please don't ever leave me again. I want you in my life forever. Dad, 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 look, look, mom didn't leave, she's right here. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I'm glad she didn't leave. Maybe if your mom wants to, we can actually work it out and be a big happy family. That'd be so awesome. I'd have my mom and my dad. Mom, can you please stay? And, 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 and don't, don't eat my Legos, please. Don't, don't, don't eat my Legos, please. Uh, you can help me make a big Lego missile. Dad, I think she wants to stay. Oh, yes, this is awesome. <laughs> What's up, folks? What's up, Black Yoshi? Not much, man. Just being a Kool-Aid fan. What? A Kool-Aid fan? What's that? It's like an elephant, but with Kool-Aid. Very cute, Black Yoshi. Yeah, Mario, but real quick, you got five dollars I can have? What? No, Black Yoshi, why would I give you five dollars? Because you drank all my Kool-Aid. See, it's empty. Black Yoshi, I did not drink your Kool-Aid. You drank it. No, I didn't, folks. I only had like uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cups. Yeah, 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 Black Yoshi, that's a lot of cups. And how many cups fit in that? Uh, well, it says on the back he can make some grape. What the fuck are you talking about, Black Yoshi? Just let me watch the news. It's coming on. Break! 
breaking news, okay? Dr. Frederick Fingertits has made a groundbreaking discovery that Kool-Aid should be illegal. Let's hear his explanation now. Hello, I am Dr. Frederick Fingertits, and today I will demonstrate that Kool-Aid is more addictive and dangerous than crack. I have with me here a real crack addict that I found on the street. You enjoy crack, yes? <laughs> yes, I do. I love crack. Yes. Now crack is very, very dangerous and it is illegal and you should never do it. But I will now demonstrate that Kool-Aid is also dangerous and should also be illegal. Now, crack at it. I want you to try this Kool-Aid. Why? I got crack right here. Well, this Kool-Aid is better than crack. I love crack, and this is crack. Look, I promise you, if you try this Kool-Aid, you will enjoy it more than crack. <sighs> Fine, but after that, then can I get the crack? Yes, but only if you don't like the Kool-Aid. Fine. Now that's some good stuff. Now that is way better than crack. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That is truly a remarkable discovery. Yes, wait, yes, I'm getting word now that Kool-Aid has been banned in all 50 states. It is now illegal to have Kool-Aid in your possession. It is now listed as the most dangerous drug in the world. If you have Kool-Aid in your house now, you better flush it. If you are caught with Kool-Aid, the penalty is the electric chair. What? Kool-Aid's illegal? Did you hear that, Black Yoshi? Mario, I'm a cute little Kool-Aid pillow. And in a minute, I'm gonna go into my cocoon. And then after a while, I'm gonna sprout and be a big, beautiful Kool-Aid fly. What, Black Yoshi, you didn't hear that Kool-Aid's illegal now? What'd you say, fool? Kool-Aid is illegal now, Black Yoshi. They're gonna stop selling it. They're saying it's worse than drugs. Man, nobody's gonna stop me from drinking some Kool-Aid. You got $20? Well, Black, Black, you're gonna go try to buy Kool-Aid? Yeah, I'm sure the store still got some. No, Black Yoshi, they, they, they took him off the store. No one's gonna sell him because Kool-Aid is illegal now. Oh, give me $20 and I'm sure I can find it. You know what? Here's $20. All right, fool, I'll be all right back good. Because if he gets arrested, then he's out of my life. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, hello? Anybody here? I'm looking for a dolphin dude wearing a jacket. He can give me illegal stuff. Hey, shut up. What do you want? Oh, hey, man. What's up? Oh, uh, I need something. And I heard you was the guy that could get it for me. Maybe. It depends on what you want me to get. Oh, uh, that Kool-Aid? Hey, shut up. You can't say that here. It's illegal. You don't know if the cops are listening. Call it something else. Oh, uh, I need that grilled cheese. But what? Grilled cheese? Yeah. But that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't even look like grilled cheese. It, call it something else. All right. Uh, that cremated Barney. That Barney dust. Hmm. Yeah, I might have that. That depends. You're not a cop, are you? You know, you gotta tell me if you're a cop. That's the law. Man, I ain't no cop. I ain't no snitch. I ain't no pig. Hmm. All right. Uh. <gasps> this is what I got, man. <gasps> Man, where you get all this from, fool? You know, let's just say I know a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy whose sister's banging the Kool-Aid man. Oh, man. I, I, what, what, what $20 get me? Mm, $20 will get you one pack. One pack, folk? Man, what about the drip? Uh, all right, fine. A pack and a drip. And what about this pound, folk? How much does pound cost? No, that's a grand. $1,000, man. Why is it so expensive? Because it's illegal. It's hard to get. Man, you said... Uh, a pack and a drip, $20. Yeah. All right, what about uh, uh, a pack and a drip drip? Mm, no, how about two packs, no drip drip? So pack, pack, no drip drip. Oh, man, pack, pack, no drip drip. All right, man, I guess I'll take the two pack, pack, no drip drip. All right. Uh, you take these, and if you get caught, you didn't get them from me, okay? All right, boy. <laughs> two pack, pack. Hey, 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 I got that Kool-Aid, boy. Can't wait to go home and drink me some of that Kool-Aid, man. Oh, 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 what's that sound, man? What's them lights? Oh, oh, it's the Popo! Man, I got that Kool-Aid in the car. Man, I can't go back to jail, man. I gotta pull over and hide this. Oh.
Roll your window down. Roll your window down. More. Man, this is all I'd be half to. I know my ripes. Okay, how about we lower the window just a little bit? Just a, a little more. Just a little more. Come on, keep keep going. A little more. Keep, come on. Just a little bit more. Okay, we're almost there. All right, all right, we're almost there. Uh, uh, I still see a little bit of window. All right, now is that so hard to listen? Man, why you be doing this, man, man? What's your badge number? You had anything to drink tonight? No, you violate my rights. You, uh, you don't have any Kool-Aid in this car, do you? No. You know it's illegal now, right? Yeah, and I ain't got any. Hmm, so you're telling me if I search this car, I'm not gonna find any Kool-Aid? Nope, you can search my car. You can search my car, you can search my shoes, search whatever you want, but you cannot search my sock. I wanna do nothing more right now than search that sock. But you can't because it's against the law. My great-great-grandpappy done told me that the police can search whatever they want except for your socks. So, go ahead. Search the car, search the shoes, search whatever you want, but you ain't touching my sock, man. There is no law that prevents me from searching that sock. I am gonna search that sock. Yes, there is a law that prevents you from searching the sock. It's in the Constitution. Wait, okay, so you're telling me if I search that sock, I'm not gonna find any Kool-Aid? Nope. Oh, God. No Kool-Aid, huh? Man, you playing it's that. No, I didn't. Well, it's not mine. It's my boy Rufus. What's Rufus's Kool-Aid doing in your sock? That's not my sock. That's Pookie's sock. Okay, what's Pookie's sock doing in your car? It's not my car neither. Okay, we got a lot to talk about. You're coming with me. <gasps> what say? Is that a shooting star? Ooh! What? Wait. There's no shooting star there. It's cloudy. What? What? I've been had! <sighs> I wonder if Black Yoshi got in trouble. Mario, please help me, folks! The craziest thing just happened! What, what, did you buy the Kool-Aid? Yeah, Mario, I bought the Kool-Aid, and I was headed home to drink it. And then the cops pulled me over, folks! And, and then I knew I had the Kool-Aid in the car, and I'm like, I can't go back to jail, folks! So I had to hide the Kool-Aid! So I hid the Kool-Aid in the one spot the Popo can't search. My socks. So I put the Kool-Aid in my socks. Wait, 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 what? Your socks? Yeah, Ma Mario, they can't search your socks! Black Yoshi, they can search your socks! No, they can't, folks! It's in in the Constitution, my great great grandpappy done told me if I ever get pulled over by the popo to put whatever I don't want them to find in my socks. It's in the Constitution, Article 14. Thou shalt not search thy socks. Black Yoshi, that doesn't make any sense. They can search your socks all they want. They can search anything they want. They can put their hands up your butt if they want to. Well, anyway, folk, they did search my socks, and guess what they found? The Kool-Aid. And so now, they done violated my rights, and I'm a sue. Black Yoshi, they can search your socks. No, they can't, folk. I already be told you it was in the Constitution. Okay, so anyway, they found the, they found the Kool-Aid, so then what happened? Well, they found the Kool-Aid, and they was trying to arrest me, so I ran really, 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 really fast, like I was in the Olympics. Wait, wait, you said you were driving. Whose car were you driving? Yours. Black you were driving my car, and you got pulled over with Kool-Aid in it? Yeah. And you left my car with the cops? Yeah. Black Yoshi, I'm going to turn on the news. I swear to God, if my car's on the news, we're having Kool-Aid in it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Breaking news, guy. The Kool-Aid man. Is now number one on the FBI's most wanted list. He is the one who has created Kool Aid and he must be punished. The FBI is doing everything they can to bring him to justice. That, that right there is the face of pure evil. He goes by the name Kool Aid Man. There's nothing cool about AIDS. Bunch of street whack. I've heard he's smuggling 500,000 kilos of Kool-Aid right across our border. And we need you to bring him to justice. But why us, mate? Because you two are my best officers, and you're the only ones that can stop this menace. So go out there and get him, and bring me pictures of Spider-Man. All right, Simmons, the Kool-Aid pack's in here. We gotta find that Kool-Aid man. How do we do that, mate? Uh, all right, I have an idea. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, uh, mate, why are we saying oh yeah? Cause that's the Kool-Aid man's catchphrase, he says oh yeah! Oh yeah! yeah. Oh yeah! Oh, uh, mate! Hey! Oh no! Hey, hey, you get back here Kool-Aid man, freeze!
No, don't, don't jump that fence! Don't jump that fence! Oh, mate, it looks like he jumped the fence! Fences! My only weakness. Alright, it looks like he got away this time. Come on, Simmons. What? The Kool-Aid man is wanted? Kool-Aid is illegal? What world are we living in? A white man's world? Everything gotta be white. We got a white president, a white house, racist. Where the black house at? Where the black president at? We just had a black president. Where the black house at? Uh I don't know. See, there you go. Racist. Black you're just mad because the Kool-Aid's illegal and you want to drink Kool-Aid and you don't have to follow the rules. Well, man, the rules are just so hard, Mario. I just can't walk outside without breaking the rules and doing something bad. Black you see, like, you just, all you have to do is follow the rules. It's that easy. But it's so hard. Why they got to make the rules so hard, Mario? <laughs> Who's at the door? Well, if that's the cops, you're gonna go answer the door. Cause if it's the cops, I'm not answering. Go answer the door right now. All right, folk. Oh, uh, hello? Oh no, the Pope! Oh, hide me! You're the Kool-Aid man. Oh yeah. Oh no, nah, I can hide you from the Pope, but what you gonna offer me? Oh yeah. Oh, <gasps> Kool-Aid? Oh, come, come on in, Kool-Aid man. Mario, Mario, Mario! Guess who was at the door, folks? Oh, was it the cops? No, it was the Kool-Aid man! See, he brought me some Kool-Aid! The Kool-Aid man? What's he doing here? Well, he's running for the popo, and he asked me if he could hide here, and I said yeah! Well, you said yes, and he Black Yoshi can't hide here! Well, he's right here, folks! Oh, yeah! Black Yoshi, the Kool-Aid man cannot hide here! Why? Because, Black Yoshi, he's on the FBI's most wanted list, and if we get caught hiding him, we're gonna go to jail, too! Uh, oh, no! It's the Popo! Oh, okay, Black Ocean, I'm gonna go answer the door and you hide him, okay? You hide him! Alright, folks! Uh, hello? What are you sucking on a lemon? Oh, hey, Mario. Uh, so we found your car and it had Kool Aid in it in a sock, and the guy that was driving your car ran away, so we're just gonna go ahead and blame you. Oh, no, 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 that's, that's fine. Look, you can just keep the car, you know? Just keep it. Uh, I don't need it. Just, just keep it. As long as you don't come inside the house, you can keep it and just leave. Okay, now I really want to come inside your house because you're willing to give me your car to prevent me from coming inside the house. Oh, no, 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 it's just that, you know, my house is dirty. I haven't cleaned it in a while, and it's not like I'm hiding the Kool Aid man in my house or anything, you know? Uh, Kool-Aid man? It, you said Kool-Aid man. I didn't say that. You said that. Yeah, I, I said it's not like I'm hiding the Kool-Aid man, like in case you're going to assume that because you found Kool-Aid in the car, and in case you're assuming the Kool-Aid man's in here. He's not in my house, so he's not in my house. Well, I wasn't assuming he was in your house, but now that you said that, I really want to take a look around. Well, there, there's no reason to look around because it's not like the Kool-Aid man is in my house. That's why I said that, because the Kool-Aid man is not in my house, you know? So you're telling me, if I look around your house, I'm not going to find the Kool-Aid man? Nope, nope, you're not going to find the Kool-Aid man on guard. Hmm. Oh, no! No Kool-Aid man, huh? Uh, 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 is that a shooting star? Ooh, wait a minute, we're in a house. Hey, hey, you get back here, Kool-Aid man! Come on, Kool-Aid man, run! <laughs> Oh no! Alright, Kool-Aid man, you're under arrest for creating the most illegal substance ever. <laughs> and Mario, you're under arrest for harboring a fugitive. What? <laughs> Hold on, is that the news? Alright, everybody, we, we gotta listen. Breaking news, guy! It turns out that Kool-Aid is now illegal again. Dr. Frederick Pickledix lied about Kool-Aid being dangerous. He apparently did so because he was upset about the Kool-Aid man banging his sister. Let's hear his apology now. Yes, it is true. I, Dr. Friedrich Fingelschitz, have lied about Kool-Aid being dangerous. I only did this because the Kool-Aid man was banging my sister and it was making me angry. So, for that, I am sorry. Banging his sister. Ladies and gentlemen, banging his sister. Wow. Kool-Aid is now legal for everyone to have. You can have as much Kool-Aid as you'd like now. Yeah, the laws change every five minutes in this f***ing town. All right, Mario, I guess you're in the clear. And Kool-Aid man? Yeah. And Kool-Aid man, looks like you're free to go. Oh, yeah! Ow, you son of a bitch! You're under arrest again! Get him, Simmons! Oh, I'm getting him out! I'm oh, getting him out! Oh, you're under arrest this time! Oh, 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 oh he's, he's resisting! 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 He's resis
Yeah, but the Kool-Aid man got arrested again. But that was for assaulting an officer, which you shouldn't do. Don't do bad things. But it's so hard not to do bad things. It's not that hard, Black Yoshi. Just follow the laws. That's all that's, that's all you gotta do. Oh. We're gonna be learning how to speak Mexican. You're gonna need to know how to speak Mexican because one day you're gonna find yourself at a Mexican restaurant and the waiter's gonna bring you your food and say hot plate, but you're gonna touch the plate anyway and burn your hand because you didn't understand what they said because they were speaking Mexican. So we're gonna learn how to speak Mexican. Any questions, Crass? Um, it's not called speaking Mexican, it's called speaking Spanish. Spanish, Mexican, same thing, Cody. What do they speak in Mexico? Mexican. See, it's that simple. Okay, well, what do they speak in Spain? Mexican. Wh what about Puerto Rico or Cuba? <sighs> they all speak Mexican, Cody, but we'll call it Spanish for you. You wrote Spanish on the board. All right, Crass, now I'll pay attention to Cody. He dumb, he not know Mexican. Anyway, Crass, does anyone know how to say hello in Spanish? What about you, smartass? The Spanish word for hello is hola. No, that's how you say hello in Hawaiian. I asked how you say hello in Mexican. I mean, Spanish. Yes. All right, so the way you say hello in Spanish is El hello -o. El hello -o, Crass. El hello -o. Guys, it's not even how you say hello in Spanish. Very good, Crass. Now that you all know how to say hello in Spanish, we're gonna learn how to say bye in Spanish. The way you say bye in Spanish is... Adios. El bayo. God damn it. So, El hello -o, Crass. Then when we leave, we say El bayo. What? Are you kidding me? You can't just add L and O to the beginning and end of every word and say it's Spanish now. All right, Crass. Now that you know how to say bye in Spanish, you're probably wondering how do you say this bye in Spanish. Well, it's very similar to this bye, except this one is El bayo. So, the difference between El bayo and El bayo is this by, you're gonna say it while you're waving. So el bayo and this by, you're gonna say it with money in your hand, like you're gonna buy something. El bayo. What? What if you don't have any arms? That doesn't even make sense. Well, you better have arms if you go into Mexico, Cody, or else no one's gonna understand you. All of this, pointless if you don't have arm. Arm is very important to the Mexican language. So this buy and this buy, no one gonna understand you if you don't have arm because they're gonna think you're trying to buy something and leave at the same time. Anyway, Crass, so now that you know how to say buy as in el bayo and buy as in you're gonna buy something, now you're probably wondering how do you say this buy? This buy is like this book was written by. The way you say this by in Mexican is... Let me guess, is it El Bayo? Oh, no, very close, Cody, very close, but they different. The way you say by in Spanish is... El Bayo. That's what I just said. Well, what you do with your hands is very important, Cody, because the way you say this by is El Bayo, and the way you say this by is... El Bayo, you have to have money in your hand, Cody. All right, and in the way you say this by El Bayo, you must have book in your hand. See, book is written El Bayo, Dr. Seuss. Understand? No, why don't we just learn regular Spanish? This is very complicated. I know, I know, Crass. Mexican can be very confusing. So let me use all three buys in a sentence to help you understand. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna walk into the library and say, El hello, Mrs. Librarian. I would like to El Bayo a book that was written El Bayo Dr. Seuss. She's gonna take your money and now you own book. But before you leave, you're gonna set the book down and say, El Bayo, you cannot say El Bayo while holding book in your hand or else you look like this. El Bayo, El Bayo, like who wrote this fucking book? You know who wrote the fucking book. It says Dr. Seuss on the side of the book. 
So you have to put the book down and say, El Bayo, then you can pick the book back up and leave. Any questions, class? Yeah, I'm dropping out of this school. All right, class, we're running out of time. So we're gonna go through these last three very quickly. All right, the next word we have is name. How you say name in Mexican is Nemo. Bingo was his name. Very famous Spanish song. B I N G O. And Bingo was his name. The next word we have is yes. Does anyone know how to say yes in Spanish? Si. Come on, guys. I thought you were smarter than that. The way you say yes in Mexican is El Yeso. Everybody understand? All right. The last word is no. Does anyone know how to say no in Spanish? Oh, I got it now. It's El no -o. What? What? What kind of Spanish is that? Cody, you are so dumb. You have a lot of Spanish to be learning. The way you say no in Spanish is no. No mean no in all languages. How you be so stupid, El no? <laughs> Crappy, dumb! What? Oh, okay, oh yeah, that's fair. I was just putting L and O at the beginning and end of every word like you were. Oh, come on, Cody, this is getting really easy. Spanish is easy. Screw off, Junior. All right, Crass, I know some of you had trouble learning your Spanish today, but what I want you to do is tonight go to Mexican restaurant and try to test out your Spanish, see how far along you get. All right, and remember, if they say hot plate, that means ow, no touch. Do not touch it or else you burn your hand. All right, I know we didn't get to food items today, but remember, burrito and taco are same thing in Mexican. And also, when in doubt, add L and O to the word, and you're probably right. Good luck, Crass. See you tomorrow. Ugh, what a long and exhausting day of school today, Cody. Yeah, I know. It's almost like we didn't learn anything at all. But yes, we did, Cody. We learned Spanish. No, we didn't, Junior. Nothing that he taught us was actually Spanish. But Yes, it was, Cody. He's a teacher. He knows what he's talking about. He's an idiot. He doesn't know what he's talking about, and nothing he taught us was real Spanish. Okay, Cody, look, I understand that, you know, we only know English, so learning a new language is going to be hard for us. So, I understand hearing another language is going to sound like gibberish. So, yes, Spanish right now doesn't make sense to us, but eventually, we're going to speak fluent Spanish, and it's going to make sense. Junior, I've already learned a little bit of Spanish. Yeah, today. Wait, no, no, I mean before today. Like, like, earlier today? No, no, I, I mean even earlier than that, like yesterday. Like, no, I didn't learn Spanish yesterday. I learned Spanish like a while back. Like how long? Like, like earlier today? Like a few hours? No, no, not a few. Like like a few years ago. Like okay, Cody, your time's all messed up. A few years ago? No, like no, you mean no, earlier today? Junior, nothing we just learned today is real Spanish. I promise. Oh, okay, then let's go to the Mexican restaurant and test it out like he wants us to do, and we'll see if it works or not. Junior, we're gonna sound stupid. No, we're not. We're gonna sound like we're Spanish. <sighs> Fine. All right, let's go, Cody. Oh man, this is my first time at a Mexican restaurant. This is so cool. Woohoo! Can we go now? Cody, we're not gonna leave yet. Our teacher says we have to test out our Spanish at a Mexican restaurant. So we're at a Mexican restaurant. Let's test out our Spanish. Junior, we don't even know real Spanish. Our teacher is an idiot and we're just gonna sound stupid. Cody, we're not gonna sound stupid. Is that a real cactus? No, Junior, that's a balloon and a sombrero. And we're gonna sound stupid because we're just adding L and O to everything. And besides, I can't even eat Mexican food. It'll tear apart my butthole. Not in a good way. Oh, el hello, senors. I brought you some chips and salsa and queso and soft cream. Welcome to Border Jumping Bean. My name is Burrito Taco Burrito, but you can call me Taco. That is not your real name. El Yeso it is, senor. What is your name-o? <sighs> Mi llamo es Cody. What? <sighs> My name-o is Cody. Ah, oh, bingo was his name-o. What's your name-o, senor? Oh, uh, uh, El Hello-o. My name-o, Junior. Ah, bingo was his name-o. Do you bingos want to order some food? Um, I, I just like to buy a taco and an enchilada. What? I, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I'd like to el bio a taco and an enchilada. Oh, you're leaving so soon? See you later. No, no I'm not. I'm not leaving. I, I'd like to el bio a taco and an enchilada. Ah, taco and enchilada for Bingo. What about you, Bingo? Oh, uh, I would also. I mean, uh, uh, Cody, can I borrow that? Yeah. I would like to el bio a taco and enchilada also. Oh, okay. Two enchilada, two taco, coming right up for the bingos. Junior, this is ridiculous. Cody, look, we're doing, we're doing pretty good with our Spanish. You're, you're killing it with your Spanish. You said you didn't know it, but you're killing it. Junior, this is stupid. This isn't even real Spanish. Cody, let's just eat some nachos. <sighs> All right, bingos, your food is ready. Hot plate. <sighs> Ow, fuck. 
<sighs> What's wrong, Cody? I burned my hand on the plate. Well, he said hot plate. That equals ow, no touch. You know that. Well, he touched it and it didn't hurt him. Here you go, senor. Hot plate. Oh, that's a good point, Cody. I'm gonna ask him. Uh, L, excuse me, O. L, what though? L, uh, how O did you O touch the hot plate O without it burning your hand O? Oh! Bingo, what's his name O? What? Did you get your answer, Junior? Did you? Uh, well, I think he's just really busy. Yeah, that's probably what it is. I can't wait to try this food, though. It looks really good. Try yours. Uh, Junior, I said I can't eat it because if I do, I'm going to have a baby out of my butt. Well, Cody, maybe this is diet. Oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, Junior. It's probably diet Mexican food. I hadn't thought of that. I guess I'll try it then. Yeah, it might be diet. They might make it like, well, it won't make you sick. Mm, mm. These diet beans are actually really good, Junior. Oh, huh, Cody, you should try this enchilada. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh oh, uh oh. What's wrong, Cody? Did you touch the plate again? Did you burn yourself? No, no, Junior. I gotta poop. I gotta poop really, really bad. Uh oh, well, then use the bathroom, you weirdo. No, no, Junior. I never use public bathrooms. Cody never poops in public. Cody pooping in public? Never gonna happen. I never pull a CPP. You never pull a CPP? No. Well, you poop in private, right? Well, well, yeah. So that's a CPP. Cody poops in private. Well, well, it's a CPP, but it, it's not the same kind of CPP. Look, it doesn't matter, Junior. I have to poop. We need to leave right now. So you want me to get the check? Yes, please. Where's the waiter at? Uh, waiter, uh... Waiter, waiter, get over here. Did you need something, Bingos? Yes, I have to poop. I, I need the check right now. Oh, we're actually running a special today. If you El Bio this book, then your meal is free. What? I don't want to buy a book. I just want to pay for my dinner. Well, that's a good deal, Cody. If, if you buy the book, your meal is free. We basically ate for free. Well, it's not free if I'm buying the book, Junior. But the meal is free, senor. Yeah, it's, it's a good deal, Cody. Well, okay, okay, fine. I will buy your stupid book. What? what? Oh, I'm sorry. I will El Bio your book. Oh, you're leaving so soon without paying? What? You dining bitch? No, no, for God's sake, look. I, I, I will El Bio your book. Oh, okay. Imagine doing business with you, senor. Okay, okay. Can, we, can we go now, Junior? Uh, Cody, I say bye to him. <sighs> El Bayo! Dr. Seuss! Ooh. Oh, what's wrong, Cody? Oh, Cody, you said bye while holding the book, didn't you? Uh, are you farting, Cody? Ooh, ooh. J junior, Junior, I, I pooped in my panties. What? I pooped in my panties, Junior. I have, I have mesh panties, and I just made Play-Doh spaghetti in my pants. Uh, uh, well, Cody, look, at least we learned Spanish, and you and you bought a book, just like the teacher taught us. So you do know Spanish, Cody, you learned Spanish. Ooh, oh, God, it won't stop. Speak the guy. Oh, God, it won't stop, Junior, just keep pooping. <laughs> oh, man, what a weird dream. Oh, man, I'm gonna call Cody. Come on, Cody, answer. Hello? Cody, I just had the weirdest dream. I had a dream that we were in school and we learned Spanish and then we went to a Mexican restaurant and, and you bought a book and then you pooped your pants. That wasn't a dream, Junior. That was earlier today. I'm still on the toilet. Now hang up so I can finish reading Green Eggs and Ham. <sighs> I do not like to say I am. I do not like Green Eggs and Ham. for today. Ching Chong wants to buy egg rolls and each egg roll costs three dollars. Ching Chong already has two dollars and a data. How many egg rolls can he buy? Well, Ching Chong only has two dollars, so he can't afford to buy an egg roll. But Ching Chong has a data. So how much is a data worth in China, Crass? One dollar. Correct. So two dollars plus one dollar equals three dollars. So Ching Chong can buy one egg roll. It's very important for you to remember this, Crass, for your test next week. So go home, do your homework, and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, we have homework tonight. Jeffy, are you doing the homework tonight? Hold on, Junior. I'm picking ass boogers right now, and I think I got a good one. Oh, I think I got something stuck underneath my fingernail. <laughs> Can I smell it? Oh, hell yeah! Hit that ass booger! Uh, uh, oh, oh, that's a dang ass booger. Oh, Junior, you should hit that. Oh, guys, I'm just really worried about the homework tonight. Junior, you wanna know why I say that homework? What? I say fuck that homework. You guys DTF? Yeah. Down to Fortnite? I'm talking pounding ass pickles, Junior. I'm talking when we get home, we squat up and we spur lump some buttholes. That, I mean, that does sound fun. I mean, who needs to do homework? Exactly, Junior. Let's go fuck some people up. Let's go do it.
Just had a long, boring day at school. Can't wait to sit down and play Fortnite all night long. Jeffy, before you play video games, you have to do your homework. I don't have to. Jeffy, yes, you do. You have to do your homework before you play video games. Where's the contract at, Daddy? What contract? Exactly. I didn't sign a contract that said I can't play video games until my homework's done. Well, we don't have a contract, Jeffy. We don't need one. Exactly, Daddy. So I'm going to play video games all night long. No, no, Jeffy, no, no. You have to do your homework first. Daddy, do you not know? How hard it is to go to school for eight hours a day and not pay attention to people talking at you and assigning you work that I'm not going to do. And then they want to say, oh, here's homework. Go home and do more nothing. I'm not doing my homework, daddy. And I'm going to sit right here and play my video games all night long. You know what, Jeffy? I'm going to go take a dump because I really have to take a dump. And after my dump, you better be ready to do your homework. Great. Who's that? I hope it's a pizza man. I didn't order pizza, but I can hope, right? Maybe you got the wrong house. Pizza man? No, no, I'm actually off the clock right now. Uh, is Mario here? Yeah, he's just taking a big fat patty whacker dump. Oh, well, it sounds like I caught him at a bad time. Uh, this is your grandpa. He's getting kicked out of the retirement home because he grabbed one of the nurse's butts. Yeah, Veronica was pretty upset about it. So, uh, he's your problem now. I'm just gonna limbo out of here. How low can I go? Grandpa? Rufus? Yeah! Rufus! Oh, I have a good idea. Come inside. Okay. All right, Grandpa. You're gonna sit right here and pretend to be me while I go play video games all night, all right? No, oh, you kids these days with your tinker toys and your calculators and rocking horses, I don't understand it. All right, well, I'm gonna I'm a go. All right, guys, I'm in my closet. You guys ready to squat up? I'm gonna play Fortnite all night long. I'm not even going to school tomorrow. I'm alone. All right, Jeffy. We're gonna do your math homework, okay? I pooped. Oh, okay. Well, you always poop, Jeffy. So we're gonna do your math homework, okay? Uh, Rufus. What? No math homework. Okay, Rufus. All right. So, uh, first question: Ping Pong has two balls. He hits one ball with paddle. How much pain is he in? No, oh, my balls are saggy and stretched out like an old sock. No, the answer would be a lot. He's in a lot of pain. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, question number two. Some dumb hoe has three sisters. They go to the nail salon to get toes done. They paint four toes and quits because of ingrown toenail. How many toe no paint? Feet! No, the, the answer is six. Uh oh. Yeah, they only painted four toes and they stopped. So, there's, there's six no paint, okay? Okay. Yeah, so uh, number three. Slung Lek Dong had 14 cats and for a cucumber. He ate four of them. Four of what did he eat? Kitty! Yes, correct, four cats. Yeah, I eat kitty. <laughs> yeah, that. So, uh, okay, number four. Chickity China, the Chinese chicken, lays eight eggs. It takes 20 eggs to make egg drop soup. How many eggs have dropped in the soup? Mm, I like soup, mm, soup is good. Yeah, but how many eggs have dropped? Uh, 20? No, no, not 20. Only 8, because the, the chicken only laid 8 eggs. He can't drop 20, he only has 8. Oh. Yeah, alright, so the last question is, girl in hospital says, something wrong with Verina, after she had four baby. What wrong with Verina? Oh, Veronica! Oh, I like Veronica, she had a nice ass. And not Veronica, Verina. Um, Very loose. No, no, her ass was really tight. Okay, okay, well look, Jeffy, look, we, we're finished with your homework, I just helped you with it, so let's go get you some dinner so you can go to bed, so you can go to school tomorrow, okay? Okay, Rufus. Alright, let's go. Mm. Alright, Jeffy, here's your SpaghettiOs. Mm. You poisoned these, did you? No, Jeffy, why would I poison your SpaghettiOs? Uh, you're not in my will. I gave it all to Loogie. He's taller, I'm green, he's got a mansion. You a doctor? No. No, I didn't think so. Jeffy, Jeffy, just eat. Uh, you, you hide my pills and baloney. I don't want to see them. You don't take pills, Jeffy. Just eat your stupid spaghettios. <laughs> you smell like throw up. Oh, uh, oh, Jeffy, they're spaghettios. You've eaten cold spaghettios before. Cold? You didn't eat these up? No, you like them cold. No, it's quite all right. I don't think I want those. I'd rather just die in my sleep. So you're saying you want to go to bed? Yup. And you don't want to eat anything before you, go, before you go to bed? No. All right, let's go to bed. Rufus! What? Huh? Let's go to bed, Jeffy. Okay, Rufus.
All right, Jeffy, it's time to go to bed. Ain't no. Is there anything you want before you go to bed? Metamucil. I need my Metamucil. Oh, okay, well, you never take that ever, Jeffy, so you don't need it. I think I'm having a stroke. My arm doesn't work. I can't move it. Je Jeffy, you're just playing around, okay? So I'll wake you up in the morning to go to school, okay? Good night. Good night, Rufus. <sighs> Nazis. Jeffy, it's time to go to school. Gunfire, quick, hit the deck! Jeffy, stop playing, it's time to go to school. Except on landmine. There goes my leg! Bye, leg. Well, Je Jeffy, it's time to go to school, wake up. Ooh, you are sexy and nice, ain't ya? Pull my catheter out with your teeth. Yeah, slow like... Jeffy, it's time to go to school! Oh, God, I'm blind! I'm blind! They did it! They finally did it! Those goddamn terrorists took my eyes! Jeffy, just open your eyes! I can't! I'm blind! Open your eyes! There you go! Oh, it's a miracle! I can see! Are you Jesus? No, Jeffy, look, you have to go to school, okay? I'm not going to no concentration camp! But what? Uh, Jeffy, look, you just have to go to school! Uh, 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 they got they got macaroni? What? Y yes, if you go to school, you'll get macaroni. Mmm, macaroni. Yeah, let's go. Uh, I can't believe we stayed up all night playing Fortnite. And I didn't do my homework. Well, at least my best friends didn't do their homework either, so they can get in trouble too. I did my homework. Wait, what? No, you were playing Fortnite with me all night. I did my homework while I was playing Fortnite. Well, how'd you have time to do that? Junior, all we did was camp. I had plenty of time. Well, uh... Do you think Jeffy did his homework? No, he was pretty clear that he wasn't going to do it. Well, well, what if he did? Uh, do you think he's coming to school today? No, I think he's probably still in the closet playing Fortnite like he said he was going to. Oh, ma'am, I'm going to be a big loser woozer that gets yelled at in front of the whole class. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, can I copy your homework? No, I already turned it in. <sighs> you know, I should, just, I should just go hide in the closet. No, you know, Junior, I used to be in the closet too, but it's much better now that I came out. All right, class. Today, we're going to be learning history lesson about Pearl Harbor. But before we do, did everyone turn in their homework? Huh? Did you do your homework, Junior? Did you? You didn't do it. You didn't do your homework, did you, bitch? What about you, Junior? You do your homework? What? what why ask me? Why, why don't you ask Cody? Because I did it. And you didn't. He didn't do it. <laughs> oh, you didn't do it, Junior? Well, that's a big F for you. F you. Anyway, Crass, let's get back to our history lesson on Pearl Harbor. Is this where I get the macaroni? Oh, hey, Jeffy, you rake! Did you do your homework? Are oh, you goddamn Koreans in your nukes? Are you trying to kill all of us? Huh? I take that as a no. Let me go on the computer and give you all F, except for you, Cody. We need the wall! Uh, wow, Jeffy, that homework must have stressed you out. What? That homework must have stressed you out. What? I, I said that that homework must have stressed you out. Oh, God damn, I can't hear. What did you say? All oh, you kids are mumbling all the time. You're making music. Okay. All right, Crass. I hope you all enjoy your F. Anyway, as I was saying, the history lesson for today is Pearl Harbor. Everyone think Pearl Harbor was attacked, but it wasn't. It was actually a big misunderstanding. Us Japanese just really wanted to go to Hawaii for vacation. So this is what happened. See, Japan right here, and Hawaii is way the fuck over here in the middle of the goddamn ocean. And what happened, Crash, was that our planes ran out of gas, and we crashed into your ship. And we don't know how many times we have to say this. We sorry. Why you think buffet so cheap? If we try to apologize, we keep apologizing. We get rid of your straight cat, your straight dog. We 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 help it. You kamikaze sons of bitches! I'll show you a kamikaze. I, I think I broke my hip. Jeffy, go back to your desk. Uh, how about I drop two more nukes on your Asian ass? How about that? Jeffy, go back to your desk or else you're gonna be suspended. Uh, Cody, I don't think that's Jeffy. No. Uh, you can't take my freedom. One more word out of you, Jeffy, and you're suspended. Oh, yeah. I got one more word for you. Carrots. Wow, Jeffy, unbelievable. You got suspended for saying carrots? Yep, and I'd say it again, too. I fought for this country and I earned the right to yell carrots at the Chinese. Well, you know what, Jeffy? If you want to be all big and bad and talk back to your teacher, then you're grounded. Ooh, 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 I pooped. What? Uh, I pooped. Well, you know what, Jeffy? You said you pooped your diaper again. You can just sit in it. Mm, 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 squishy. All right, well, you know what, Jeffy? I'm not going to let you just sit around since you're grounded. I want you to go take out the trash. Huh? 
I want you to go take out the trash. What? I want you to go take out the trash. God damn it, where's my hearing aid? You don't need a hearing aid, Jeffy. You have two ears. Look, go take out the trash right now. I'm fucking leaving. I'm a war veteran. I don't have to take this. <sighs> no, I get no goddamn respect in this house. I lost my teeth for this country. I deserve to be treated better. What? What kind of Nazi trap is this? Murphy, the Nazis done took over your house and dug a hole in the living room. Ugh. That's fine, I can jump it. I earned the Medal of Honor! What? What was that noise? Jeffy! Jeffy, are you okay? Hey there, what seems to be the problem? Oh, thank God you're here, Doctor. My son fell on the stairs and now he's not breathing. Is he okay? That's an 80-year-old man. What? No, it's not. That's my son! No, that's, that's an old man. What? No, that's my son, Jeffy. Look, his shirt says Jeffy. He has a gray mustache. What? Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Well, uh, Jeffy has a mustache. What? No, he doesn't. That's an old man. Wait. Uh, oh, yeah, wait. That's my grandpa. That's your grandpa? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I just got it confused because he was wearing my son's clothes. Oh, just because somebody changes their clothes, they turn into a completely different person. I mean, you know I'm the cop, right? What? You're the cop? Yes, I change clothes depending on what job I'm doing. You didn't know that this whole time? What? No, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just people look different when they change their clothes, you know? I, is that why you wear the same clothes every day? So you don't forget who you are? What? No, it's just, look, 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 look. He was wearing my son's clothes, so I thought he was my son. I'll be right back. Oh, Grandpa, I'm so sorry. I didn't know it was you. What? Hey, Daddy. Jeffy, thank God you're okay. I thought you were hurt. Your grandpa's not looking too good, though. Are you fucking serious? Jeffy, don't cuss. It's me, the Brooklyn guy. I was adopted just one second ago. But, but your shirt says Jeffy. Yeah, and my helmet's the wrong color, too. But you don't see anything above the neck, so I guess it makes sense that you wouldn't recognize me. Well, well, but you have a shirt that says Jeffy. You're wearing Jeffy's clothes. There is something wrong with you, okay? There's something wrong with your eyes. You need eye surgery. That's the next video. Mario gets eye surgery. Well, okay, well, then, look. He's wearing Jeffy's clothes. You're wearing Jeffy's clothes. Who's Jeffy? Did you get hit in the head or something? Hey, daddy. Can we have pizza rolls for dinner? or bagel bites or some shit. Anything pizza related, I'm down for. What? Who are you? Who's this guy with no shirt on in my house? Get out of here. That's your son. What? That is not my son. He does not have a shirt on that says Jeffy. That's still your son. O okay, look, I don't have three sons. Look, there's Jeffy, you're Jeffy, he's Jeffy. Who's the real Jeffy? You know what, me. I I'm the real Jeffy. I knew it. I, I knew you were the real Jeffy, Jeffy. Yeah, okay, great. Let's go eat some pizza rolls or something. Yeah, and you two, get out of my house. I, I know there's only one Jeffy. Um, so am I a doctor now? Ugh, here, knock yourself out. Yay! The Jeffy Puppet is now on sale, so go get yours today at smlmerch.com.